his first over. Oh, so apparently I'm just come on air. <laughs> Everything said before was brilliant. Everything from now I may apologize for. Oh, that's well balled. That, that, again, he's getting a bit of bounce at, uh, at that end. That came through between waist and shoulder on the rise. Easily uh, taken by the wicketkeeper. That's a wicketkeeper's dream, that kind of take. Well, it's been an interesting few overs, as you can see. 67 without the loss of a wicket yet. Oh, play through for again. That's just, he's just, there's nobody out there. They're, the two fielders that they're allowed to have on the boundary are both behind the bats. So JJ is just feeling the freedom and the Dermot's just to play through the shots. Nobody, no risk playing any aerial shots in front of the bats. Well, we'll apologize now for no end-to-end -end camera at the moment. Technical difficulties, the same as with our audio. Dermot Tucker now, of course, is on 34 off 22, and JJ Jonathan Garth, 28 off 21. And it's been a tough day to be a North Kildare bowler. Well, I know how that feels. <laughs> <laughs> Having, uh, just, just for the audience, to show my bias for today, I, I, did, I did play 20 odd years for North Kildare. So, yeah, I had a few bad days, and a few good days, but a few bad days as a bowler for North Kildare, so I know how they feel. So another change in the bowling by the looks of it. Wow. It's at this stage. Kildare will yeah. be hoping it's more successful than the first change. He went for 15 off his first over. Yeah. It's it's just very, very strange field setting. It, it again, it's a pet hate of mine. I don't set fields for bad bowling. Oh, that's out. That change definitely worked. Well, certainly more successful than the last change. And JJ Garth departs for just 28 from 21. And you get the feeling he's missed out today. Oh, very much so. Especially with a change of bowling, maybe have a look at one. But well, but the way they've been batting together this morning, they felt the freedom to just go after the ball. And, and he did. He chased the wide one and got the tickle. Brilliant take by the wicketkeeper. Really well taken, low down, diving catch. Um, but oh. yeah, well, what, 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 is, the, is, is this our version of basketball? Just go, go, go. Well, but, it is top versus bottom yeah, in the yeah. championship today. North the, Kildare yet to register a victory and Pembroke yet to feel anything but victory. Yeah, I t there, is, there is a, there is a, I don't want to say gulf. There is definitely a, a, a difference in, in, in It's the almost class. like there are 10 premiership teams and oh. only six championship teams. That, that would be the actual split. I would be, I'd be pushing more towards that kind of split. Um, well, look, we don't know what's going to happen next year. We don't know what's going to happen in this game. Well, no, yeah, you could have a... I was telling the... Uh, well, I did, wasn't telling the listeners earlier because I was off air, but uh, Phoenix were 13 for five up in North County. 13 for five. And that, and that was the second playing third or fourth. So it is a funny old game. You know, anything can happen. But... Phoenix who have suffered one defeat so far in their four games. Yeah. Currently in second. Yeah. So 13 for five. Well, of course, that score has changed since I last looked. But, but yeah. it's a tight division even here. I mean, mm. uh, Pembroke have won four. Phoenix and Rush have won three. Yeah. And then there's like three sides who have won two out of four. Yeah. North Kildare, the only side without a wins. Yeah. Even... Um, Civil Service, well, have Civil beaten, Service. The, beaten Oracle there. Yeah, had a, yeah. Had, a, had a win, and a, that, An was probably, easy that was probably, win. well, I was going to say that was probably on paper going to be a very competitive game. But wasn't, unfortunately. But wasn't. Yeah. I just, look, you only have to look around, and there, there's different reasons. Look, different setups, different clubs have different. Well, resources. I do, I, I do think it's good that civil service and North yes. Kildare are playing what I would term uh, senior cricket. I would have dreamed of this in my day. I wouldn't have cared what the bat. I, you know, I, when I played for North Kildare, I never got that chance because we were a junior club. Um, so I never got to pit myself at this level. Um, and that was the dream I always wanted to. Oh, just to get your name into the record books. That's what I always found. I just wanted one appearance on the first. Oh. Well, I had plenty of appearance on the first, but as I said, it was always junior level. Yeah. No, I never, never reached the level of the first in Pembroke. I was 12th man for a cup yeah. semi-final once. Oh. When I was young, fit, 
And not a bad fielder. No, my my first appearance would have been for the for the first would have been probably around the age of fifteen. Started uh, opening. Back when the divisions had names. Yes, it would have been senior three. Senior three. I played that level, I think, with Sandyford. Yeah. But never with Well, I played one game for the seconds. Yeah. I'll never forget. My fir first time I was given the opportunity to open the bowling was in Phoenix. It was on a hat trick that day. One of my many on a hat trick days. Well, there's a man here. He's looking to finish out what would be a wicket maybe. Yeah. Played out. That was Nick Stapleton, by the way, who came into bat there. He's also having a fine season, especially with the ball. I know he had a brilliant knock last week up in North County, himself and the skipper, um, you know, put on a match-winning partnership. At one stage, they were both on 69 off the same number of deliveries. Morning, James. <laughs> so we had two 69s. Oh, uh, cracking asked for. shot through the offside. It's running away to the boundary. Run, 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 little Save doggy. Save your legs. Well, the fielders both got there at the same time. Unfortunately for them, it was after the ball. You wouldn't want to have seen one of those, both of them sliding at the same time. Especially considering what they would have been sliding into down there. Well, push armor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, beautiful shot. Well, nice way to get into the game to finish out that over. So, you know, a wicket and four runs from the over. So now we've got our technical audio difficulties mm. out of the way. I'm going to go back to my pink gin and tonic. Yeah, and Other gins you. are available. Uh, and uh, sure, I'll come send us some leftovers. Yeah, enjoy your lunch. I never heard the menu. Oh, the menu's still a mystery. Oh, it's a mystery menu. Well, it's 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 certainly not going to be my uh, dinner last week. <laughs> well, yeah, it certainly won't be the lovely dinner I got to have, courtesy of Pembroke Women's Section. Got the fine dining at Chapter One. Oh. Now I know how the other half lives. I want to go back. I want to go back. That's just nicely played. There by Dermot. So we have Khalil from the jo St. John's Road end here continuing a short run up. It's all in the shoulder and arms, it seems, from this bowler, but he certainly is getting a bit of bounce out of this track. I'd personally, I'd like to see him pitch it up a little bit more there. It's it's a bit it's a bit too short to trouble the batsman that length at the moment. He might get one to surprise them, but it is very short. That's better, and he got the edge from it. But of course, unfortunately for him, the skippers had to take the slips out due to the first six or seven hours of this game. It's always the way. By the time the, the change comes on, usually the slips are gone, the two, three slips and a gully. They're well gone by the time you get the ball. Now, he's brought a slip back in for Nick Stapleton, the new batter. See if he can find that edge. If he gets back to that length again, he, 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 he is getting the extra rise from this end. Oh, that's too short again. Nick just, oh, he leaned, in, leaned back, jumped on that short delivery, pummeled us out here to oh, what many would call cow corner, but all along the grounds, four runs. Yeah, he, he, if, he, if he keeps bowling that length all day, I, I, I have a feeling that Pembroke batsman will enjoy. Oh, we've got we've got multi. Uh, no, a, amazing work here from Niall. He's got the second camera, as you can see, up and running. So we've got the above the side screen, and the corner camera's working. Oh, that's too full. Overcompensated. Pembroke happy just to defend it and not take the single. So, scores moved to 80. And the ninth over, so current run rate is 9.52 for the maths, mathematicians out there if you're watching, Mr. Clark. Good length. Pushed it into the covers. 
Nicely picked up by point. That ball. He just need this bowler just needs to find that consistent length. He's bowling too many variations, I think, for his this early in his spell. But uh, I think Pembroke, even with the loss to JJ, have to be happy with this start. Okay, so a change in bowling by the looks of it already. So, or is he coming around? No, change of bowling. So, thank you for your one over and one wicket. Off you go. That's a brave captain. mistake it is the same bowler sorry I don't have a monitor in front of me I'm, I'm working off quick clubs here on my phone it is a man who had bowled from the St. John's Road end he's now coming from the nursery end Wolford Road Wolford Zaman, who got the wicket of Gart in the last over. So he's going back to, instead of left arm around, he's going back to left arm over. Here to Deermitz. Tucked up nicely by the bowler. That's a, that's a good line and length. Yeah. He'll be working hard to try to keep his line here. Ever, ever so difficult. Tyrone Kane fans out there. He won't be saving the day for Phoenix unless he get does something with the ball. Phoenix are now 21 for six. TK out for a duck to Eddie Richardson. And many others failed was very unlucky during his glory years. Not to be to see more caps. Excellent all rounder that he is. Richardson with the figures of three for four off five hours. Anyway, back to Full played into the covers. That's missed. Yeah, that's missed by the field. That's four runs. Race is away. The ball really is racing across this outfield. Apart from the wind, this would be an absolute perfect day for cricket. You know, the outfield is looking great. The pitch is playing true. Sun is out. There is there is a lot of cloud cover. So there will be something there for the bowler. Um, but yeah, it's, it, the wind is the only thing killing the enjoyment factor. So Khalil to continue, despite his figures two overs for 20 runs, that's better, Lance. 
needs to work just maybe an over two, just putting the ball there on that length rather than that short delivery. I know it can excite some bowlers seeing the ball lift and rise towards the shoulders of the batsman, but sometimes the pitch is good enough that that won't trouble them. That's a why it's good length though. Again, he just needs to start probing that off stump, trying to work on some consistency here. That the because really, Norkel their field fielders need something to feed on here to keep their energy levels up, and a few good tight overs, just probing a few. Ball's going tr nicely through the wicketkeeper. Give them something to to work off. Short, played nicely, just back on a point. So the field here for Norcolaire again, they're persisting with nobody deep on the offside. So you would like to figure the bowlers are going for that off and middle kind of line, but they've got their three players that they're laid out. They've got... One deep mid wicket, one deep backward square, and uh, one on the boundary at third man. Wow. Oh, that's a full toss. Yep, no ball. Cut away, backward points. Nick will be hoping that gets to the boundary, yes. So he'll get the free hit here. And North Clare won't be able to change the field for it. Oh, that wasn't a very good delivery, way too full. And are we going to see a Warren little chat with the umpires? Mm. Yeah, that is a, by the looks of it, that's a warning. Yeah, the captain has. Free hits being called. That's his one and only warning. So yeah, they, they've, the fielder that uh, Norcolaire have on the offside, on the deep, I, I wouldn't even call him a third man though. He's he's kind of standing where first, second slip would be. So more a slip on the boundary position. So here comes free hit. Short, that's uh, pulled to the deep square area, picked up, it'll only be one. It's well fielded. The fielder came around well to cut that off before it could get to the boundary. Just rose a little on it. Nick picked the short ball, but rose a little on him. He didn't quite get the meat of the bat there. Anyway, five off that one delivery. So yeah, six, six so far from this over, two deliveries bowled. This is not what the captain needs. He's having a little chat to his bowler. Maybe just calm down. Quit with the short ball. They know how to play it. Let's work that off stump. That's well bowled. That's what the that's what the skipper needs. A really good length, just outside off, played and missed. Again, nicely. Just the bowler just needs to calm down a little. Maybe a little too many adrenaline shots this morning. Maybe he had a couple of cans of monster. But uh, just he needs to just keep working that off stump. A little bit of momentum, and then tr then come in with a maybe a short ball. The batsman gets set. Full wide, very wide. Well taken by the wicket keeper. Another extra. So that's 10 wide so far in the day, and we're only in the 11th over. So. Pembroke moved move nicely into the 90s here. With 40, 39 overs to go, you'd have to be thinking, uh, Theo sitting there thinking of a score of 350 plus at a minimum here. Good lands, well filled it. Oh. 
So the end of the 11th over. Pembroke, 91 for one. Tucker move, has moved on to 39 of just the 33 deliveries. Six fours. Six, six fours and a six is certainly helping his strike right here today. Sir, no. 42. They haven't put up that last score yet. And Nick has raced to 13 off just the 12 balls faced. So Zaman continuing. A little movement, unfortunately, non-cricketers walking behind the bowler's arm there. Always a killer for the bowler. You'd make all that effort running in and, and has to stop right before release point. A bit off, yeah. I think uh, uh, the screen isn't just quite where uh, Mr. Stapleton would like it. Just a little movement required. Once again, I apologise to the listeners because I am working off the phone and not the monitor. It is my roof bowling in the nursery end. Into his fifth over now. It's a lot easier when you're just doing the scorebook. The current run rate, just over eight and over. So certainly if any partnerships build here for Pembroke today, Norkel there could be looking at a mammoth total for a chase. It stays like this, uh, the batsmen start hinting towards the skipper. Uh, go on, move me up the order. Let's have a go. You all get brave when the openers put on a nice start. It's a good finish there for Norclair, not over. first maiden of the day so that's uh, brighter signs for Norfolk Air if they can start probing and, and, and just pulling back a little here so we're going to have another change of bowling this will be Norfolk Air's fourth bowler of the day so far I think yeah, this Norfolk Air skipper I'm, I'm willing to Stick with Khalil, like 28 from three, but no, you know, just a bit too expensive, with no reward.
Bit of spin. That's played beautifully. Backward points. That should right. That's a big. It's a long boundary, but races down there, just in front of the covers for four. Beautifully played there from Tucker. All along the grounds. Joyous shot. Good comeback here from Nabby. Two good deliveries to follow that. We'll give him the loosener. By the looks of it from his shirt, 001. That's better. Although I can see just from you know the little looks, Dearman would look into this empty cow corner area. He's thinking if he bowls him a shorter delivery, it's a it's there's nobody from square leg to deep mid on on the leg side. And that's a big area here in Pembroke to targets. He had a little look with his eyes there. Well, yeah, in the end, just the four off it. I think in the scheme of things, North Lair will be happy with that over. So Maruf is going to bowl his sixth here. Play through the covers, all well filled. It's Four runs saved there. That was that was gonna hit the boundary line, but well stopped there from North Clare. Oh, but he's placed that one. Fielder made oh, the difference. You could see the frustration from the bowler there. Midoff made no effort to get down to that ball. No dive, no sticking a leg out, anything. And, but still a beautiful shot from Nick Stapleton. Four runs. But when you're a bowler, all you ask for is, is your fielders put in a little bit of effort for you. I'm sure the fielder in question was Nabby, who when he bowls from this from the St. John row, then next over, I'm sure he'll want his fielders to dive everywhere for him. Oh, he's straight there, leg side, but there's a man on the fine leg boundary. It'll just be the one. Again, considering this is their first year, second year playing at this level, you wonder if there's a slight lack of knowledge here for field settings, because again, if Everyone in, is mostly in the ring. In the 13th over, with, the score, with Pembroke having passed the 100 mark, and uh, the only two fielders out of the ring are a fine leg, well, old school fine leg, nearly behind the wicket keeper on the boundary, and deep extra cover. There's nobody anywhere else, everyone in the ring. And at the moment, Hamburg are making hay.
Down leg sides. You'd be very, very fortunate if you got that one from an umpire. Squirts through to the wicket keeper, fielded in the end, just a dot ball. So end of the 14th. Emmerich have moved to 101 for one. Tucker, 43 from 42 deliveries. Stapleton, 18 from 21. Really is a very solid basis here for the, for the middle order, especially with, you know, you have people like Theo in fine form and lovely knock last week in North County. Gavin Howey coming off the back of a great, you know, performance for uh, the MCC during the week. You know, you know, people who can who can hit the long ball in there as well. So it's 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 shaping nicely from a Pembroke point of view. It'd be worrying if you're a North Clare supporter, what what sort of total you'll be looking at. So Nabby to continue from the Jones Roads. Just pushed back towards the bowler. He couldn't feel it himself and hit to mid on, deep mid on. An easy single there for Stapleton. So, a bit of a, an, air, an early morning crowd here at Pembroke, of course, because of the, the lunch taking place. Uh, they're standing out nicely in the corner outside the bar, watching the events unfold here. I'm sure some of them, this is their first chance this season to catch a look at this Pembroke side. And of course, they're you know, coming together nicely, top of the table, unbeaten here in the championship. Semi-final of the All-Ireland to come up now in a week or so. Tough away trip to Warringstown, but still, anything's possible. Played a miss, that's well bowled. So Nabby's really working hard here to give that bit of control back to Norkel there. Oh, that looks like that. Definitely was racing right end, got through wicket keeper and first slip. Yeah, runs given by the umpire, that was an edge. Oh. The bowler will not be happy. Seemed to be just wide, wide enough of wicket keeper because he's standing up. He couldn't react in time, and first slip couldn't get across. So four more to the total. Well, it was a well balled over. Just very, very unlucky at the end there for four runs to come off it. Five off the over. 106 for one. A little, in a way, a little. From, from Pembroke, they've, they've dropped from going at nine and a half, ten and over down to seven. So just just being watchful, these little changes in bowling and things from Norco there, little cha field setting changes. We're going to have another change of bowling. Maruf is coming off, having bowled six overs, one maiden not for 39. So Sharma is coming on from the nursery end. Another bit of, by the looks of it, spin. Turning a bit away, he's tweaking his fingers. Well, that's too full for a first ball. That's a full, genuine full toss. Stapleton comes in, the track meets it, crashes it through the covers for four. That's easily a loosener. Falls into that category nicely. Now, it's a little bit of a chill here, so I'm sure the spinners don't find it easy with their fingers trying to trying to get those rotations on the on the ball. That's a bit better. He got his shoulder fully over that time. Played a miss by Stapleton. Oh, that's 
Yes, nicely played. Good fielding. Good kick it all in. Simple cricket. Fours come from the over. Stapleton's in no rush here. No need to turn the afterburners on just yet. A bit fuller. Squeezes through, but top off. A couple of sprinkles here as well as we're sitting here with the winds. I don't think they're in any danger of rain, but there's a few little droplets around. A little bit shorter. Just drop, had the bowler just drop the fielder right to deep extra cover. Finishes with a dot. So just the four off the over from that loosener at the at the start. Again, in a way, both teams will be happy with that over. Norkel there would like to be thinking their their spinners are just warming up, get trying to get into a rhythm, and hopefully their middle overs will get some control. Penguin batters are looking to target certain areas off the bowlers, looking where the gaps are, especially, again, very, very, very attacking fields. Lots of people in the ring. I think it's not often you see only two out to a spinner at this stage of, a, of an innings with 100 runs on the board. We've only got deep square and deep mid on. Outside the ring, everyone else in the ring. So, brave captaincy. You'll need his bowler to back this up. Short. Again, just played there to the skipper. Watchful as ever from Tucker. Drops a little sharp there to take a quick single. That's really well fielded, though. Throwing it in on the slide. So just a single. Ring stabled and back on strike. Well. <laughs> Uh, Staples didn't even have to take a, put a couple of steps out of his crease. He knew that was going to the boundary as soon as he played it. It's a great shot. And very, very strange. No deep extra cover. Back to Sharma for a second over. Just the four off the first. That's about our length from him. So that's six dots from him in a row now. After his first ball going for four. So you know, a little bit more consistency. See here from Norkel there. Again, he's nobody on the cover boundary. He's, he's just with the two deep. That's too full. Oh, poor fielding, misfield there. Should have been a tough ball. It's going to be one, though. Yeah, they leave it at the one. Bowler got, got away with that. Yeah, just, he's got cow corner and deep mid on. Nobody else outside the rink. So, a lot of pressure here to bowl to, bowl to your field. 
any time the Pembroke batters manage to place the ball and beat the infield, it's going to race away for four every time here in Pembroke. The outfield is playing lovely. Okay, just push there to mid, mid off for just the one. Okay. While that was all happening, he had squeezed out deep extra cover for Stapleton, but he's bringing deep extra cover back in for, for Tucker, who is the more set batsman. So, and he's brought in mid on as well. So we've only one outside the ring. Cow corner. Very, very attacking fields. Oh, he's bringing in Cow corner a few yards off the track, off the line. For what reason, I don't know. Tucker sees that just the one off. So. This is so difficult without a scorebook in front of you and a phone that isn't updating. So we're actually into the 18 hours gone and 120 on the board. Scoreboard yet to catch up here at Pembroke, but Crick Clubs has us at 120 for one off 18. Tucker has passed his, has got his 50, but I did not hear a round of applause when we were in the ground. So on the, on the, on the board, he's 49. Crick Clubs, he's 52. So I don't think anyone knows what's going on at the moment. Oh, it's a bit wide and stable in places. It threw that very, very tight infield again. Nobody out there to stop the boundary. And I'm sorry, when the oppositions are going at an easy six, seven and over, that's a, that's a freebie for batsmen of this class. Bowled out now. Obviously, he was hoping to turn that ball back in, but with the length, Stapleton was able to get to the pitch of the ball. Now, they've left the man on the boundary now, so there's one at deep extra cover, one at deep mid on, and again, nobody else outside the ring. Okay, so Tucker's on 49 now. They've, they've re corrected Crick Clubs. So, in the 19th over, Tucker 49 off 56, Stapleton 32 off 34. Down the track from Stapleton, just pushed out, deep it on. Didn't try to overhit it, just a one. Yeah, that's five so far. And it's over. And he's again, he's bringing it for the, for the set batsman. He's on 49. He's bringing everyone inside the ring. Okay, he's hoping for a miss hit maybe while he's trying to get to his 50. But everyone in the ring here from Norkel there. Oh, well balls. That's going to bring up his 50. Just gets wide a first slip with that shot, playing it into the ground. Two runs. Okay. That's 50 for Tucker. Good finish to the over. Well, you can see what maybe the skipper was hoping for. Maybe a bit of nerves for the batter going, trying to get to his 50. But and he, it was a good ball. But he, Tucker managed to play that into the ground straight away. Went wide a first slip. Rolling towards the boundary, picked up and the two to bring him to 51. So, so 19 gone, 124 for one. Emmerich must be delighted with his start. Oh, 
Sharma continuing into his third over, just a six runs from his first two. So, in the context of the game, he, he's he's economically the best of the bowlers so far. Again, this is this is good bowling from Sharma. He's he's really bowling a great line here, tucking up the Pembroke batters, finding it difficult to get it away. He's bowling to his field. And that's over. So just the one off it. That's an excellent over from Norkel there. So 20 gone. 125. Still, Pembroke aren't going to be overly concerned with 30 overs here to go. Nine wickets in the in the shed. Norcler continuing with the spin, and it's given them a semblance of control here. Looking to put turn this one into a two, should be an easy two for Tucker. He's very quick between the wickets, as is Stapleton. Yeah, the throws wayward, so uh, an easy two in the end to the man at the deep cover boundary. So now he's into his fifth over here. And the track from stable and just push back. Should be a top ball as it, yeah, it's picked up by mid off. He's bowling a very good line here. He's working that off stump, not giving the wits. He's not dropping the ball short so far, so that's fuller. Yeah. So they can't look to target this leg side where again there's only really deep mid on there to to save uh, any big hits. So back to Sharma. Into the 22nd over. Pembroke will be on drinks without any more losses. Norkel there hoping to niggle one, ideally two out before they stop for a drink. Sharma has certainly bowled a good tight line here to the Pembroke batters. 
Nice and full again. But no run taken. Oh, no, no, no overrun on a misfield. Cliches are there for a reason. Oh yeah, there's only yes, there's levels to everything, but that's a bit shorter punch there. A oh, well taken single. They saw the little fumble from the fielder at mid off, and they felt safe running through. Two quick batters here. Then the track from Stapleton just put. Um, an appeal for LBW with the batsman four yards down the track and it coming off the bat. Interesting. Maybe a bit of pad involved. But you'd, you'd have to find a very generous somewhere to be given that. Oh, too full there. Yeah, just gave, gave a low full toss in the end to Stapleton. He latched onto it in a flash. And uh, finishes the over, uh, which was going to be another good over from Cheryl. Finishes it with a four. It's a deep extra cover boundary. He, was, he gobbled that up, that little present, very, very quickly. So one, three, two for one off 22. Stapleton has moved nicely into the 40s here. Nothing too exuberant or rash, just a, anything full and loose, he's, he's latched onto quickly. Anything short, he's dropped back and played well. And then picking up the ones and twos when they're there. So, yeah, it's, it's building into a very nice inning so far. Nabby continues, a little bit short, but just played back to mid. Well, a very Tight mid off, well in the ring there, not even on the edge of the ring. Tossed up nicely from the bowler again. Yeah. And extra extra cover would be very close to the ring. He's not on the boundary. And deep mid on is 10, 15 yards walking in from the boundary. So oh that's short. Oh, misfield though. Should have been a dot ball. Bowler should have gotten away with it, but oh, they're gonna sprint through for two that's super running yeah first short ball there from Naby and Tucker trying to latch on to it to go after this unguarded leg side boundary but he, he just couldn't quite get it through the fielder short again on the offside though this time punch through for a single it's good running from Pembroke spotting the little chances here to keep that board ticking in the long Tossed up well, fielded short mid off. Dot ball. They really, they really are trying to entice the uh, Pembroke batters to go aerial here. Little game of cat and mouse. Flicked off his legs there from Stapleton. Trying to will you go over the top, try and go over the top, see if you're good enough. So, not bad captaincy here. It's tough though when. Pembroke are under no pressure at the moment. Took a chase runs. They're ticking along nicely, getting three, four, five, most overs. And with nine, as I said, nine wickets to get left. They can pick their time when they want to go after this. So. That was Nabby's completed a sixth over there, not for 26. Looks to be another change of bowling from Norkel there. This looks to be their sixth bowler. Yeah, definite change in the field setting here for this new bowler. More spin. And we've got 
man on the boundary a cow uh, man on the boundary deep extra cover fielder probably 5-10 yards in from the boundary mid off that's played out to him should just be the one yeah just a single So this is Josh Uden come on to ball. Fortunately, it'll take me about half an hour to list all his previous clubs. Short, wide, yep, yeah, given. Drag down. Fuller and squeeze through for a single. Give you an update on that North County game with that with that mad scoreline. Phoenix have moved to 63 for seven in the 20th over. It's a nightmare day for the Phoenix batters. Adam Chester trying to anchor somewhat of a comeback. He's 19 not out. Lower order easily outscoring the top order already. None of the top six making it into anywhere close into double figures. In, in, in fact, none of the top six made it past five. So. Cut away, just play that into the ground right by his feet, so only didn't quite get hold of it, just a single there for Stapleton. So end of the 24th over. Then we can move down to 139. Just one more and we should be having drinks and a little break. No one wants me to stand on the gazebo to weigh it down. The weights aren't good enough from the gym, apparently. We need the 40 kilos. We need the 50 kilos. So, little talk between bowler and wiki keeper here. Just what you want the one over before drinks, a 10 minute discussion. So 140 for one off 24. Sorry. It's not always updating quick enough for me. Five from that Uden over. So Nabby back on. Stapleton in and down the track to that first delivery. They're going to push two here. They don't risk it though. Just a single. So that moves Stapleton to 43. Took her back on strike. This will be Navi's seventh over. So there'll be somewhat a lot of pressure there in the next 25 as to where they're going to throw the ball around to. Slower ball. Oh, that was really, really, really well balled. That was great bowling. And very unlucky. That's gone for four. Genuine edge off Tucker. He sl the bowler slowed that down significantly from his previous deliveries. Slow turner. Got the turn. Got the edge. First slip couldn't get, the get there for him, though. It's brilliantly bowled. Tucker delighted to survive there and pick up a dodgy four runs for it. They're back to his nor normal pace. That's what that's the pace he's been bowling the previous six point something overs. It's 
surprising it took him this long to to take get that slower turner out of his arsenal. Drops it short. Punch back again. Just to that short mid off. No no run. Strange. Normally a bowler would will have tried something a bit earlier. No wait till the seventh over. That's then. That's drinks. So we're going to just take a couple of minutes here, as you watch the trees sometimes sway in the background. As uh, Hemrock have to be delighted with moving on to 145 off 25. Tucker 61. Stapleton 43. Mike's pointed the complete wrong direction by now. This is.
Okay, welcome back. Hopefully both teams are very refreshed after that little break. Nick Stable doesn't take this to face this first ball after drinks. Uden to bowl. Pembroke with a very healthy 145 on the board with just the one wicket down. Straight away, Stapleton latches on to one that's a bit wide, but man, a deep extra cover, it'll just be the single. I think a little discussion would have been had at that break at the tactics now to this next 25. I'm sure both batsmen will be both set. Taking a ball or two to get used to it again, and then I'm sure looking to turn the accelerator, go from third to fourth gear here. Tucker put, gets that one through. It'll just be a single again, or should be. Yeah, just a single. A couple of men deep out here now. Yeah, tactics, a little change here from Norcal Air with field settings. I think Norcal Air's best hope is wickets to, to try and slow down any acceleration push from Pembroke. Yeah, they'll be pushing two here. Tucker is quick. Yeah. Oh, he gets around the umpire. Easy two for Stapleton. Again, Saban pushes that out to deep midweek. They're going to get two again, though. They're running that fielder ragged by placement of the ball. It's a big, big area to cover for one player. Lots of twos available. That moves Stapleton to 48. Just another nice push away from a 50. Again, there's going to be movement behind the bowler's arm, unfortunately, just to stop play here for a second. Well fielded by the bowler off. Nice little push from Stapleton into the over. Six from it. Nothing too flashy, but they're getting the run the ball there, and that's what the minimum Pembroke will be hoping for. You know, there's 20, they would have there at the break said, you know, 25 hours to go, minimum of 150 runs. That's what a run the ball will get you up to 300. So, oh, answers on a postcard, but I, I, I'd have to think Pembroke are targeting 350, 360 at a minimum here. Niall says four. He's enthusiastic today. All this wind. Okay, change of bowling. So Nabby after seven. Pretty good overs. Like, to be fair to Nabby, apart from a few edges here and there, Pembroke batters never really took him apart. So back to seam after those middle overs of, of spin. So, opening bowler Zaman, the only wicket taker today. He's bowled four overs, one for 30. No maidens. Wide straight away. And Stabilin comes through for a sec to make it two. Yeah, I was pushed well down leg side. Didn't give the, the wicket keeper much of a chance there. Squeeze out of his glove, squirt it out, and allowed Stapleton to make that two wides.
the um, the mobile net is being pushed all across the uh, the rugby pitch there. <laughs> the unfortunate pair in there trying to have a practice there. <laughs> Spend most of the time trying to hold it in place. Oh, I think the, Mr. Tucker was looking for a wide from the umpire, but nothing given. Dot ball. Beautifully at six. Oh, that's 50 for Stapleton. Well bad, it's. It's a low, it was dropped well short. And that was pummeled to the leg. So I picked up straight away on Lentz and guided it to deep square. Easily cleared the rope. Another six and looks like another lost ball. So that brings up Nick's second 50 in two games. Of course, his lovely 70 odd last week against North County, followed up by his 54 so far today. And that uh, that, came, that 50 came off 60 deliveries with eight fours, and of course that's six just there. And he's rapidly catching Dermot, who is sitting on 62 of 79 deliveries, with nine fours and one six. So yeah, Zaman, Zaman will really have to work on his length here. He can, with his pace and with the batter's skills, he can't afford to drop it that short. It's, it was so inviting. It was, it's Nets cricket. A little bit short, but just played into the offside. And of course, the bowler bowling a short ball with nobody on the leg side boundary is baffling. I don't know, I don't know if, he, if he is looking for a miss hit from the batter. I don't know who he expects to catch it. Um, he's got deep extra cover on the boundary and third man on the boundary. Again, everyone else in the ring, including a slip. Fuller, plays to lay. That's going to be four more. Again, nobody out there. Once he beat the ring, it was gone. No stopping it. I think obviously North Blair are hunting for wickets here, but only w one gone. But I'm sorry, a bit of naivety in a field setting. Now, they're taking out the slip, leaving, putting a man on the leg side boundary at square leg. So that's three outside the ring, everyone else in the ring, uh, saving the single. Played beautifully from Stapleton. Out to the extra cover, It'll just be a single. Little fumble, but the arm was good enough to keep it at one. End of a very good over for Pembroke. That change of bowling wasn't it. Norkel there's liking. Hundred and sixty-four. Dermot's feeling a bit of pressure now. Nick is starting to turn go into fourth gear. He's yet to reach fifth. Just coming up on the outside of Dermot, who's on sixty-two. But yeah, this is a great partnership. It came to came together, of course, at the loss of JJ Garrett at 71. So they're just seven short of a hundred partnership. And pushed out into the deep deep mid off. Be a one. Norkel are hoping for a mistake here, but the Pembroke batsmen aren't being obliging so far. 
Shorter. Pushed again. This time fielded. Just be a dots. Two full. Easily punched down to deep mid off. Easy one. Yeah, I think it's the lack of consistency that's killing Nurkle there today so far. That's down, drifted down leg and again easily flipped into the leg side. Deep mid wheel kick was onto that quick, so he was able to keep that at one. Two full, punched again, this side to the mid on side. Another single. So just milking the bowler a little here. Waiting for a very bad ball, but in the meantime, picking up their singles. Short, cut away, easy four for Stapleton. He latched onto that width so quickly and just placed it behind point. No chance for a goalie or, or point. It was just an up. Lovely jaunty Rhodes position, but there was nobody there, and there's certainly nobody on the cover boundary who could cut that off. Four runs to end the over. And that um, brings Stapleton ahead of Tucker in the in, in the runs. Stapleton has moved on now to 65, Tucker 64, and that brought up the 100 partnership. 100 run, 101 run partnership between these two put on in just over tw just 20 overs the uh, last week it fell at 7.1 that was the end of the 27th over so just about 19.5 20 overs to put on 101 runs an excellent knock partnership between these two oh. Brings that man now into his sixth over. We'll be hoping for a bit more consistency on that off Again, this, to be fair, again, this breeze is really blowing. Seems to be bowling from the nursery down to this St. John's round end across the crease. So kind of coming from the gap in the wall to the car park at an angle. It feels that way, certainly sitting here. Well, but there's lots of swirling. Again, God help any fielder who goes under a skyer today. You will not be able to judge that one till the very last second. It, it is a very strange. It is a very strange little wind current we're getting today. Short. Offside, but punched out of the deep extra. Just the one. Little back, back of a length there. Just came up into the towards the rib cage of Tucker. He played it nicely, a little bit off the ground. Again, no real pressure here for them, no rush. As Norcalera's greatest ever supporter walks into the ground, Brian Horn. And of course. Contact if you want any decent letter goods, contact Brian Horn. Oh, that's a chip. No, a bit down leg. Full. Took her looking to play it into the deep mid wicket area, but missed it. Peel half an appeal from the fielders. And the bowler. Not out. Of course, Brian, a stalwart ex-player and supporter of North Blair Forever. 
40 years. Oh, Tucker's played out a wide one, loose shot, and they've got the wickets. They've got the breakthrough. Didn't look like much of a dangerous delivery. It was wide of off stump, short. Tucker looking to play it into the offside. Little tickle straight through to the wicket keeper, and uh, fortunately for Deere, he has to depart. 65. Excellent knock from him. Of oh, just 85 deliveries, nine fours and a six. That's a 103 run partnership. And in comes the skipper with his telltale warm up to the uh, crease. That little twist, turn, and jog. It's by this stage as well known as his sweep shot. So, very happy uh, position for, for a captain to be in, strolling in. 174 on the board. Time to play himself in. You've got your number three batter, Nick Stapleton, set. Well placed on 66. So it gives him time to push the singles before he looks to go big. So just well, and that was the end of the over. So obviously, Norkel are delighted with that over from Zana. Uden to continue with Stapleton on strike. Excellent fight back here uh, by Phoenix, by the way, today. And yeah, they managed to get up to 108 for seven. Chester with 42. The ex skipper trying to claw to some sort of decent total. Bean. Being backed up by Oliver Hald. He normally bats higher in the, over, in the, in the order. Maybe something. Maybe a little bit wrong with him today, but he's managed to get to 36 not out of 26 delivery. So, yeah, they've uh, managed to put on a 66 run partnership together. So, somewhat, but still 108 for seven. Not really enough in North County unless your bowlers really back you up. Other scores Railway Union in a bottom of the table clash in the Premier League with Clontarf in Castle Avenue today. Railway Union 101 for seven. So, Clontarf looking to put some distance between them and last place, which will be Railway if things keep going as they are. All played by Theo down to this vacant boundary area. Should be cut off by the fielder though. They're going to look to push three. No, they leave it at two. Quicker arm ball there. Just pushed back by Theo. And again, just pushed into the offside this time, just for a dot ball.
30 over is gone. Remember, good move to 177 for two. Currently going at just over six, 6.02 an hour. So on this run rate, they certainly will be making the 300. But again, they'll be looking to add the extras to that as the overs go on. Short. There is a man out here this time, but it's safely bouncing in front of him. Misfielded, but caught, taken in just before the boundary. Just be the two. Almost a costly misfield. Ball trickled towards the boundary line, but pulled up. So... All the short again, rock back nicely from Stapleton. Very, very vacant onside area to feel confidence to play that shot to. Fuller just pushed into the off, just on one. Now, it'll be interesting to see if North Blair have done their homework on Theo um, because they continue to ball like that. He's going to employ that sweep shot out to a, it's nearly a free hit for him. Is blowing the mobile net everywhere. It's halfway on the rugby pitch now. So, Sam on to Lawson. Oh, got an edge again. Oh, the bowlers are at four runs. The bowlers don't know what to do with themselves. The wicket keeper got one hand to it, but then it came out again and had so much pace. It, it raced down to that boundary. Four runs. Who'd be a bowler? Shorter. Cut. Cut away. It'll just be a one. Picked up a deep extra. Excellent throw in. Right over the stumps. Easy for the wiki keeper. He's not having his best of days. He's had a couple go through him. A couple of edges have gotten by him. But to be fair, the consistency with the ones going down the leg side, I'm sure sometimes he doesn't know what he's going to get. Oh, again. Played just the backward points. Single again. But again, when you're when you're looking at a scoreboard that's in the 180s and the 30th over, 31st over, drop catches are just a knife in the heart for a fielding side. These are the moments you need to everything go your way, every little chance snaffled, especially by a wicket keeper. Oh, oh that could be over -trows. that's gonna be over -trows. And again, that's just that's just poor. That's four to Theo. Push back to the bowler, and for some reason he felt the need to try and run out the the batter and flung it at the stumps. Nowhere near with his throw. And wiki keeper couldn't get around in time to try and stop it. And straight down to the boundary by the clubhouse. That's that's infuriating to say the least. Like if you gave that same fielder another 50 throws at those stumps from that position, like dead he'd hit it once. And yet he felt the need to maybe half try and run out the batter. All that means is the score is now moved on to 186 off 31. Uden to continue from the nursery end. He's into it. I think it's fifth over. It's just there's a little glitch on the updates here. 
punch. Very nice fielder. Now, no dive. Just he ran around for some reason, but once he got near the ball, he just kept running by it. That's a punch four. So, according to our stats here, the projected score at the moment is 300 runs exactly from the current run rate. Again. Oh, sorry, that's just updated to 310. Thanks to that little boundary. But I would say the way things are going and with the batters to come, I would add on runs to that quite easily. So, Newton is bowling in his fifth hour. It's 4.3. Quick single. That's what you need, just keep that board ticking over. That'll help the cause. When did he over? 195 for two. Stapleton, 76 from 79. Lawson, 11 from six. Still, it's technical difficulties. It is going to happen. The, the wind is killing us today. Well, change of bowling. Now be back on. After taking the wickets, getting the edges, the captain rewards you with taking you off. Who'd be a bowler? So, when you're now be into his eight over, he, he, again, he's bowled well today. He's hasn't let the batsman get too away from him. He's gotten a couple of edges. He's bowled fairly consistently on that just outside that fourth stump line. Turning the ball back into the batters. But we want to be careful here. For a man who likes to sweep, this is a very inviting leg side boundary area. Tossed up well, a little pace off. A little full dugout there from Lawson. Another drop ball. It's good, consistent bowling here from Nabby. Not getting any freebies. That's the key. Nothing too wide, nothing too short. That's a very good over. But of course, that's eight now from Nabby. 
two left. The ball is going to have to toss around. That's it. Let's see. North players' major problem today has been their seam bowling attack, and has uh, definitely been the most expensive of their options. So whether they can continue with spin, do they have another spinner up their sleeve, or will they have to go back to Zaman Maru for Khalil? Yudin continuing anyway from the nursery end. This is his sixth. So this is good from Kulair, the last couple of overs here. Nice and tight, no freebies. They are risking the boundary ball though with, with the way the field is set. So a lot of pressure on the baller not to give that loose wide one to latch onto. Again, full straight. Just back to the bowler. the big sis. Yeah, exactly. Very much so. Sorry for the little break in uh, commentary there. Just having a quick chat with Mr. Gart. Congratulating him, of course, on Kim's wonderful test success. Here comes the sweep. Just wondering how long that would take. She'll be cut off, though. It is easy to, though. So, it is a change in, no, it is not, be sorry, I couldn't see the back of his top there. So now, the 200 up for Pembroke, with that shot. So this is Nabby's night over. Not sure of his age. He looks young enough from this distance, so he's a good prospect. Sweep again from Lawson. Straight to the man at deep square, though. That should just be a one. He looks like, you know, he has good consistency. Ball's a good line just outside the off. And for me, though, I'd, I would like to see a bit more of his change in pace because he's shown it earlier when he got an edge. He, to use that a little bit more, that little slow turner. Punch there from Stapleton, dot ball. But as he progresses, I'm sure those variations will come to him more and more in the control. So very good prospect here. Down the track from Stapleton, punch to mid off, fielded, just the one. So our projector on screen um, has a still run coming. Oh, it's, we've gone under the. Gone under the 300 mark, back to 290. So it's it's in and around the 300 sweep. 
sweep from the Hoss and an appeal from somewhere for LBW, but that's gone to the boundary for four. Be interested to see which fielder appeal for that LBW. Brilliantly played, of course, his most favourite shots. And for a reason, he plays it really well. So that's the end of Nabby's ninth. He'll only have one more. 35 hours gone, 206 on the board. Stable in his mood. Yes. Yes, so definitely. No, 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 Niall's rule with 15 hours to go is you double the score if the wickets are in the bag. And with eight wickets, he's definitely confident that you should be able to double that score. So he's, he's, look, he's looking at the 400 mark. I'm not quite... No, no, it's not his rule, okay. But yeah, yeah the, the way cricket has changed, it'll go to 40 overs. The way some of these players are hitting the ball. Um, it's not a bad rule, but... I, I, I don't know. I'd, I have a feeling um, with Stapleton, I'd like to push the ball around and try and get those three figures. Um, how quickly Lawson moves up the gears will definitely be a factor. Definitely 300. I'm, I would like 350. I think 400 is a bit of a push. I'd like to be wrong. It is a big boundary here at Pembroke, so it's, it, it won't be raining sixes, but flicked off his pads there for four from Lawson. The ball is racing along the ground, though. It's, it's, it's a nice rink here of an outfield. punch there that'll be another single so they're getting at least a six and over which is the key without any too too many issues short wide got away with it stapleton knows it and he's <laughs> a little bit angry at himself there he knows himself that with nobody on the cover boundary Certainly not around the point region. He knew once he beat the batter, that should have been four. Oh, playing a miss. Another one drifting out wide. Tried to go out backward point again. Misses it this time. Definitely picking up on the wind in the mics. Okay, so now beat the ball is 10th and final over here. Unless, of course, the young person the scores make a mistake, which can happen. Only the other day, it happened in an international women's game. New Zealand bowler ended up owning 11 overs in a 50 over game. Missed by both umpires and the scores. Lost with the sweep. Didn't quite get hold of that. It'll just be the one out to square leg. Played into extra cover, game one. Oh, you could see the turn, you could see the rotations from here on that one. He really ripped his fingers across that. Got a little bit of extra bounce. Lawson was lucky not to get anything onto that. Oh, sweet. Oh, he knew he knows he's out unless because of the wind. No, he's taking a mid wicket. 
Now nah, he deserved that. He's bowled really well, and that's his first wicket of the day in his tent in the tent over. Lawson very upset with himself. He just got under one, trying to play his sweep. And I have to say that's brilliantly taken by mid wicket because you can't underestimate how much this wind is swirling. It's not just windy, it's swirling as well. So Pembroke's third wicket falls. Score is um, 216. That was a f quick fire 42 partnership there. Just off the eight overs or so. So started to rev it up. Unfortunately, couldn't keep it going from Thea. Okay, new batter coming in. Fortunately, I'm guessing it's Gavin Hoey who's come to the crease. With the helmet on, I'm not quite sure. A lot of very similar body types in the Pembroke setup. Just waiting for the scorecard to update to give me a hint. I'm guessing it's, I'm gonna say it's either Will, William Todd or Gavin Hoey. Whoever it is, pushed into the off straight away. Sees that remainder of that, that, was, that over nicely. So, it is William Todd who's come in. So William Todd has joined Nick Stapleton, that's great. So two Aussies at the crease, so at least they'll be able to uh, understand each other on the calling. I'm not sure which states they hail, uh, William hails from, of course. Nick comes from New South Wales. So I don't know if there's any, we'll find out after, any rivalries. So, yeah. Yeah, as you can see, 15 extras. Actually, the, most of those extras came in the first 10 over. So, again, North Clare have, have done well to tighten that up in that area. Help them bring back some control. So, another change of bowling. This looks like... A Bowler number three, I'm thinking. Yeah, from the run-up. Yep, and also the short delivery that he bowls. He does get a lot of bounce with his height, even off that short run-up. Um, so this is Khalil coming on to bowl. He bowled his first three overs from the St. John's Road end. Coming on the nursery again, punches that in short. Doesn't quite get the lift on that one. Just played onto the leg side from Stapleton. And his first three overs went for 28 runs, by far the most expensive of the Norkel Air attack so far today. They'll be hoping for a better second spell from him. New batsman to bowl lots. William Todd starting to hunker down. Yeah, 
an easy one there. Just th th with the field setting as it is, it's an easy walk one into the leg side at the moment. We've got two deep on the leg, one at deep square, one at cow. Hoping for a miss hit pull shot probably from this baller with the bigger boundary. Got deep extra cover and deep third man. So four out at the moment. It's a little bit more consistency there from Khalil. Just the two so far in this over. Of course, he can't afford a full toss after his warning in this first spell. Short cut away. Fielder does well to stop it. It's still going to be one to Stapleton. Change of the bowling again from Norkel there. Zaman after taking the knees off. Or sorry, well, Nabi finished his 10 overs, so we're back. Yeah, one for, for two. Uh, in the context of today's game, that's excellent figures, and he was unlucky not to have more with some drops and some going through the slip and wicket keeper area. So this looks like bowler four back or bowler five back on Sharma, who took the catch off. Maybe oh, that's that's going to hit us here. I got one hand to it. Stop the ball. <laughs> yeah, bounced nicely over all the expensive equipment. So, uh, yeah, that was way too short. Now a fielder's kind of coming out to deep mid on, not on the boundary, but out to this direction. Fuller. Well, that stung a bit on the hand. It is a bit chilly. Oh, cut away into the offside. It'll just be the one. So he has Sharma back on. His first four overs only 12 runs. So he was also, he was, he bowled from the initial end. So a switch of ends for him. And the leg side, took, took nicely. One for Todd. So Norkler, are you hoping Sharma can get through six overs quickly here for them somehow to keep that score down? Okay. Ooh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Here's the ball coming towards us. Yeah. Oh, oh, out of all. Oh, yes, yes. You could just, just about maybe. We couldn't quite focus on that. It was a blur. That was the blur. The blur was uh, Niall and myself rushing around, running around, fielding that. We're just a blur in front of the camera. Khalil to continue from the nursery end. 
Punch by Todd's, easy one. Well, good fielding from Norkel there, but uh, always a one at this stage. Stapleton has moved into the 90s now. That's down leg, that'll be wide. Yeah. If he is at all nervous, being in the nervous 90s, I, I, I totally know how he feels because I often feel the same way when I'm in the nervous zeros. Just trying to get off to one. Another possible overthrows. Yeah. No, they decide not to risk it. Well, a bit of a wild throw there, but got away with it. Yeah, it's a, it's a wild throw, even though it hit the stunts, because it ran off, nobody was backing it up, and they could possibly have run through for a single. No need for it. He wasn't going to run the batsman out. Pushed a bit wider, but good fielding. Keeps it to a dot. Short. That's terrible bowling. Stapleton has already shown today he knows how to latch onto that short delivery. He just pulled it around the corner, backward to square. The fielder at deep mid-wicket had no chance to cut that off. R race to the boundary. If he keeps bowling like that, to Stapleton, he'll be a happy man. Todd calls him through for the single. That's, oh, and it's a no ball. Ooh. Maybe that's why Stable didn't want to take the single, so he got the free hit. Back foot no ball by the gesture from the umpire, it looked like. Flicked his heel up, so I'm thinking back foot. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. Kicked the stump. So it's a, it's a Stephen Finn. And it's a Stephen Finn no ball. So Todd gets the uh, to face the free hit, of course, because it's a change in fielder. Uh, Norkel there get to change the field setting. So they bring third man up into the circle to drop fielder to deep mid on. We've got cow and deep mid wicket, deep extra cover. Here's the free hit. Todd goes for it. It's a good... No, is it going to clear? No, it's caught on the boundary. Didn't quite get on, uh, the, the full meat of the bat onto that. So just a single. Still well taken by the fielder. Good to see that he took it. Took the catch. But no wicket due to the free hit. Fuller punched. Stapleton sends Todd back. It was straight to a fielder. He'd been brought back up into the ring. No run there. So, little few issues with the scoreboard here in Pembroke today. It's not updating quite as fast as possibly what's on the screen. And on the phones. Yeah. Yeah. My phone is not updated in the last four overs on Crick Clubs. The scoreboard is definitely behind after the free hits. Yeah. So there is a few issues here today, technical wise. Crick Clubs are showing 218 for three on your screen. However, the scoreboard here in Pembroke has the score at 227 for three of 39. So, despite what it says on the screen there, Stapleton has actually moved to 91. Todd on five. Yeah. 
I don't say the wind is affecting the internet, but anyway. There is a crowd gathered from out from the lunch, so I think everyone knows um, that Stapleton has hit the 90s. It is a club tradition. Everyone comes out from the bar whenever anyone's getting close to a significant achievement. Whether that be the men's ones team or the men's fives, as we found out a couple of weeks ago when we had a ton on the fifths team and everyone came out to clap the batter. So, well, the scoreboard is updated here uh, on the ground. Stapleton has moved to 98 with that two. And I know it still hasn't updated on your screens. So it's 236 for three. Stapleton on 98. Cuts, fielded a point. Oh, that beating the fielder either side of him, that was gone. Pull, cut again. This time he beats the fielder. Will they push the two? Straight out to deep extra cover. No, they're holding. It's a great throw straight over the stumps. Only a single. End of the over. That's 99. I think 400 is well beyond, beyond Pembroke at this stage. Um, 350, I feel, is pushing it, unless some bad bowling happens. Um, it's looking more like three, 310 at this rate. Maybe once Stapleton passes three figures, uh, that the uh, he release the hounds. Anyway, so Stapleton facing, Khalil to bowl. 99. There it is. He's taking the one. That's 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 a hundred. Brilliant knock from Nick Stablin. He's not even looking for the buzzers there. He's too busy. Easy buzzers, but that one was enough. The helmet came off. The team and the bar stands to clap his first senior hundred for Pember Cricket Club. Welcome to the club. Excellent knock. Yeah, I'll just need to try, hopefully push it on from here. Short played nicely from Todd down to third man. But he, he might push the two. No, it was a good pick up, clean pick up, straight in. Just a single. But now Stapleton has reached those three figures. I, with 10 hours to go, you, you'd like to feel he'll just let loose here now, that freedom that comes. Yeah, big flail of the arms there, but straight to a fielder. Always nice to get a monkey off your back, and of course, when you've come from overseas and you're the pro of a club, and you're, going, and you're batting three, there's always pressure to get those three figures up. A not, lovely 70-odd not eight last week certainly warmed them up for today. Ball punched away to Cow. It might turn to two. No, it's keeping it one again. And we're just finding the fielders at the moment. So. So I'll try to keep you updated with what's going up on the board because um, there are, I don't know how many overs are gone because they haven't been updated in a couple of overs, but the score does have Pembroke on 2 4 one for 3 This should be the 42nd, I think. Oh, no ball. And that'll be the end of this bowler. If they, he had a warning in his first spell, that's, he, yes. The umpire is get, looks like that's, that's, that's him done. 
Yep. That is the ball. That the bowler is now going to have to be retired and taken off. Two, two head high, dangerous deliveries from him today. It's going to be a free hit, but they're going to have to find a bowler now to uh, to bowl a form. Looks like they're going to use Josh Uden. I hope they realise this will be counted as this will be counted as a full over for the bowler completing this over. But it was dispatched beautifully by William Todd. Even though it was, you know, coming out of his head, he uh, managed to play it away nicely to deep backward square. Of course, there's only one on anywhere near that area. Never going to have any chance of cutting it off. So, Uden comes on. The wicketkeeper has to stand back. He cannot come up to the stumps. That's a change in field. Even though it's a spinner coming on to bowl, he cannot stand up to the stumps. You're not allowed to change the field anyway. Otherwise, the uh, umpires would call no ball again if there's any change in the field setting. So it should just be two. He doesn't quite get hold of that. No, it's cut that. Fielder did well there. It's only the one. That brings the score to 2-4-9 in the 42nd over. And um, that was the end. That was the sixth delivery. So that's, an, that's a hole over for Uden there for one delivery. So I don't know if the skipper realized that. It may or may not be uh, costly for them. So after all that, 249 for three, 42 overs gone. Nick Stapleton has made it to 102. William Todd, a quick 12. So, eight overs to go. You would like to think minimum 50 runs. So that brings us to the 300. I think a run of ball is 48 runs. So you'd like to think 50 runs is easily possible with this big outfield. Oh, we would miss stumping. That should have been out. The wiki keepers dropped it again. Fortunately, he's not having his best day behind the stumps, and uh, another costly error. Todd came down the track, missed one, looking to play out on the onside, and wasn't collected cleanly, and gave him time to get back in. Then the oh, that's much better. At six, that's cleared. Yep. That's at least uh, 80 meters. That hit. That's a beautiful strike from Todd. Picked the right line that time. And God, that, again, who'd be a bowler? You've just watched what should have been a wicket with a stumping. And the very next ball, you're pummeled back over your head for six. And of course, it doesn't go to the wicket keeper stats. It's all on yours. Anyway, that brought up to 250 for Pembroke. Yeah, bat batters come around the wicket now. That frees up the offside. It's coming across the batter. Quick two there taken. Lower ball, half track though. Straight to the fielder. Sh 
she'll be yeah it's just going to be the one so little change in little stop is just because the bowler is now coming changing back to over So just side screen needs to be moved here. Oh, man cats. We've had a man cats. Is that an appeal? A warning? He did take the bales off. Batsman is standing still. Well, don't know. I haven't seen anything from the umpires. He did raise his arm to go into his bowling action. So once you start the bowling action, you have to complete it. That's going to be six. Lovely pick up and strike from Stapleton. Yeah, that's cleared the boundary easily again. The fielder's trying to claim four. Oh, it is four. Okay, so your side screen obscured my view. I thought it cleared easily, but Niall is signaling four from the side screen. Must have been very close. But honest Niall as ever. Green with the fielder. Four runs. Lovely strike, though. Oh, he's gone the opposite side. This could be out. No, it's dropped over the boundary for four. Yeah, poor hands there from the fielder. He just went at that wrong. Never got under it, but he, he just didn't quite have his hands turned the right way, and it basically bounced out at him. And then bounced very cleanly to the boundary for four. That's a punishing over for an Oracle there. Just what Pembroke needed to up that run rate. So the score has moved to 266 for three. And apologies because it's, it's not quite updating on the screens. There's obviously a lag somewhere with Cricket Leinster servers today. Phones and updates, yeah, it's it's well behind. It's only shown in the 39, 40. It's over at the moment. Yeah, it's it's just lagging. Oh yeah, that's no shop. Yeah. As I walk past, I went, Are you all right? Crystal just crashed yeah. everyone. So, uh, so yeah, it's not it's not it's crashed across the boards possibly, across Leinster, server down. So. Opening bowler uh, back on. This is um, Zaman. He's taken two wickets so far today. Back on from the nursery end. Straight away, though, Todd latches onto one. Pummeled for four. Um, like despite taking two wickets, he has gone for over eight and over. This will be his eight. This will be his eight over. Oh, yeah. Um, That brings up to 270. Todd has raced to 25. Stapleton on 110. Latched again. This could be out. No. Drops. That's going to be four. Nightmare for the fielder. One drops just, just one of those die, dying aerial balls. You're thinking for a second it's coming to your belly and then just drops two, three yards in front of you and bounces through you for four. Well, must go down as a chance, Richie. So two, four so far in this over. Down the track from Todd again. Played over the field, same fielder this time, four more. Uh, that's a much better shot. Gave the fielder no chance, but 
Again, he was in the ring. We're in the last six overs or so, and you know, Norcalera persisting with everyone as many as possible in the ring. Ooh. Craig brought dessert. Oh, he! I love Craig. Oh, and it's my favorite. It's Pavlova. Ooh. No, do you like share? Excuse the, I'll be munching on that in a second. So, no clear. How did I answer this? Todd has really opened up his arms. Again, he goes after him. Oh, they were appealing for a catch. Well, one, should I say, one fielder appealed for a catch. Wide mid on. Nobody else. Just a dot ball in the end. But Todd's intentions are very clear. Anything, any way outside off, he is going after. Play down to third man. Lovely little double. Little misfield. They looking to? No. Close enough and a good enough for him to get that, keep that up one. This is proven to be a very expensive over. These last two overs have, have certainly changed the course of this. Uh, Target score that Pembroke are going to set. Two overs that are in the teens. Oh, that's flicked. Picked up and flicked over backwards square from Stapleton. That should get there. It's, yeah, runs away. Four runs. He just stepped across and just picked up and flicked. That's a hugely expensive over for Norco there. I count that at least 17. Four fours, a two, a one. That's just gone from the umpire's memory. That's a big over. That's what you, just what you want at this stage of the game from Pembroke. Coming to five overs to go, and you, you're, well, you're dispatching the front line opening bowlers that they're hoping to bring on and slow down the run rates. And, and they're going for teens. So Sherman to continue from John's road end. Todd fake gonna face face. little trouble with the side screen again. Right. White ball, that was really pushed wide. Easy decision there for the umpire. Instant pressure on the bowler here. Especially after his last over. He saw the ball go over his head twice. Fuller again. Todd comes down, plays the straight back. Great pick up from the fielder, though. Keeps that to one. Excellent fielding there.
both batsmen in full flow now. There's not a, any relief from the bowler, no matter who's facing. It's not like give this guy one and get the other guy facing, and we might turn them down. Both batsmen in full flow. Looks like uh, cricket clubs are back up and running. So your screen, your screen matches the scoreboard. So as you can see, Todd has moved on to an excellent 35 from just 22 deliveries. Stapleton, 118 from 119. Down the track. Going to push. No, unfortunately, they'll only get the one there. Oh, bit of a misfield. No. Some poor judgment in some of the throwing in today. There's unnecessary... Okay, well, this makes life easier now that Crick Clubs is on the screen. I won't have to keep on looking over my shoulder at the scoreboard. Well, that's going to be... No, drop some... Oh, unlucky. Again, that's a fielder's nightmare. Todd with the aerial shot. Fielder probably didn't pick it up quick enough. He ran in well. Ball literally dropping. The, well, the wind, of course, as well. It's, it's a nightmare, but it drops... A yard in front of him, he tries to get down and stop it, and it just squeezes through for four. So, four more to the total. Down the track from Todd. Pushes it out nicely. They will run two here, though. It was in between the two fielders who are in the deep on the offside, so we're able to come back for a second. Excellent running. Pushes the score now. One shot away from 300. Oh, bit of a slip from Todd's. Bit of a slip. And again, just in front of the fielder. This is four more runs, and that's 300 for Pembroke. So many balls dropping just in front of fielders. They're just so unlucky with some of these, and lucky for Pembroke. Todd, when he was playing that shot, he got down on one knee. I don't know if he's wearing spikes or not, but he it, it seemed to slip into the shot. Slide. Mm. Yeah. And at any point, if when the wind catches the ball, it changes where it could land or where it could rise to and fall to. So you just... You don't want to be a fielder today, really. <laughs> you want to be... The, the, the lucky Pembroke lower order batters who are sitting enjoying the show, that's where you want to be. 300 up, 45 overs gone, so... Oh, tw just 20... Tw <laughs> just 20 and over required for Niall. I think he's optimistic, if anything, deluded. Um, even, I would say, 10, 10, 350 would be an unbelievable from... Well, not unbelievable, 350? Depending on the wickets. If they start losing wickets, I... Okay, we're going, we're going, we're saying 350, we're saying 350. Niles is getting excited here. He's sticking the pads on as we speak. Yes. <laughs> you're not on the team, you're not on the team sheet, it doesn't. We don't have any Just Oil protesters here that need to be carried out, just Niles fancies a bat. Oh, beautifully played from Stapleton, but no, he's out. Oh, <laughs> that's an absolute, oh. <sighs> Stapleton, that's so unlucky. He picked out one player in a 90 degree arc on the boundary. He stepped across his stumps, saw the short ball, play, picked it up, played it down to backward fine leg, and the only player who's between the wicket keeper and mid wicket on the leg side boundary catches him. But a superb knock. 119. Absolutely top, top, top knock from Nick Stapleton. And the good news is Will Todd is in full flow. He's he's raced into 45 without even really noticing him. And I would say this is Gavin Hoey joining him. 
Again, no name up on yet, and they're all so similar. All these athletes under helmets. But the tall stride, he is a bit taller than, a bit, tiny bit taller than William. Yeah, that's Gavin. Put the mortgage on it. Yep, up on the screen now, Gavin Howey. Yeah, and he had an excellent uh, midweek for the MCC against uh, the English universities. Runs and wickets in a victory for the MCC. Hopefully he's bringing that uh, bit of work into this innings. Okay, straight away off the mark. Easy punch. I thought it was the other opening bowler. The left arm over. Maruf, who was brought on and who took that wicket. Short. Just flicked around the corner from Todd. Should just be the one. So there's just been an interesting use of the overs here between the North Korea bowlers. Like, this is Maruf's seventh over. So he's won 46th, 48th, and 50th, I would assume. I presume that's their, their plan anyway. Uh, it's going to just land in between fielders again. It's going to be the one to Gavin. Just nice nine iron pitching wedge in between the fielder in the ring and the fielder on the boundary. So Todd on strike, one hit away from 50. Oh, and he's gone. He looked to play that to the third, very, very vacant third man area. There's nobody down here at third man, looked to play it, but great work from the wicket keeper. Finally got to hold on to one, he dived across what would probably be one and a half second slip. Todd departs from a brilliant 46, really, really good knock, just when Pembroke needed to Turn up the run rate, it's like 46 from 26 deliveries. So, I'm going to say 400 out of the equation. I'm going to put the mortgage on it. Okay, I'll, I'll put Niall's mortgage on it. No risk of me on money. So in comes Tucker the Elder. Fieker comes to the crease to join Gavin. Off the back of his excellent week last week, taking five in North County for nothing, really. Changed the game. Rush is a little different. Rush is a. <laughs> no, is clutching. He's, he's <laughs> straw clutching at straws is an overstatement. Straight away, Tucker gets off the mark. What what a man to have to come in at your middle order at this stage, though the ex opener. Wealth of experience. He can hit a long ball when he needs to. Not a bad man to be coming in at this stage. So end of an over, good one for Norkel there. They'll be very happy with that. Two, you know, two wickets. Both the set men gone, so two fresh batsmen at the crease. Howie and Tucker.
Cut away, good call from Howie. Bring Tucker True for one. So this is Sharma bowling. His ninth over. Now for 56. Not quite the free flowing boundaries at the moment, just having to take a couple of balls to get their eye in. Little drop short, little back slap jab from Howie into deep mid on, just a single. So, this is pulling the run right back nicely for Norco there. Of most of the damage is done, but the 300 up on the board and push back for one. Oh, fumble. He's going to come back for two. Oh, this is excellent. Oh, that's super running and calling from Howie. Tiny, tiniest of fumbles was all it took for him to come around and, and call that two. Oh, that's a full toss. Picked up by Tucker. Is the no ball being called? Mm, no. Just the one. I think Fikra would be a little un unhappy with that, that he didn't get that to the boundary. Well, oh, he makes amends for it. Very next ball. Drifted down the leg and just pulled around the corner to the vacant fine leg boundary. So they ended the over, 47 gone. 3-1-3 three, three for five. Back in the good old days, you would have gone, well, we declare, get in, get them back out. <laughs> but of course, no declarations. So, Maroof to bowl his eight and the 48 over of this innings. Fikra took her facing. Down the track a little, punches that, gets under it, but not enough on it to trouble deep mid off. Easy one. That is well picked up by Howie. A low full toss. Howie got right under that. So he didn't even have to extend his arms fully and managed to get that to the deep cow for six. That's some strength in that little punch shot. Didn't even get through a full extension of the arms and it still managed to get to the boundary quite easily. Steps away. Oh, is that foot? It's going to the boundary. Yeah, it's reached the boundary. Did it also hit? Right, what's it been giving us? Bodies. So how he hit, looked to step to leg side to give himself room and ended up beating himself and got through the uh, wiki keeper as well. So four boys. For a moment there, I thought, I thought it hit the helmets. So 350 is looking very gettable now with the start to this over. Howie again goes to Cow. Oh, does he get the full does he get the full nuts? He does. Six more from Howie. And one has to wonder if there was a man on Cow, would he have caught that? Because I wouldn't have said it got over the boundary with much to spare. But they've only got Two deep on the le on that or one deep on that side, one a fine leg boundary, one a deep mid on, and then now he's moved. After two sixes have gone to that spot, the fielder has gone from deep mid wicket to cow. 
maybe a little late for that. How he goes again, doesn't get anywhere near enough on it this time though. So they're gonna push the two though. That's superb running from the Pembroke batters. Two runs to Howie. This is another tremendous uh, over from the Pembroke batters. Just at the end, Howie's raced 21. Just off nine deliveries. Goes again with a short ball. The, oh, that's brilliant batting. That's four runs. The fielder Nor Kildare had moved from deep mid to cow. <laughs> Just had to watch the ball cross the boundary where he was standing two deliveries ago. Brilliant placement from Howie. And poor bowling choices from Nor Kildare. Dropped the ball in short and hooked away brilliantly. So end of, end of another very expensive over from Norco there. And out from what was looking like maybe a 350, should be a nailed on 350 at this stage. Twelve deliveries to go. No. No, run the run the sit run the run the singles and you've got 350 here. Tw 12, 12 deliveries. 14 for 350. That should be a given with five wickets in the bag. Tucker on strike. Then the track, punched up over, could be out and is out. Bowler dropped that a little bit short. Faker Tucker got a little bit under it. So couldn't quite get the elevation. Taken a deep mid on, probably about 10, 15 yards inside the boundary line. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Just a little bit of chasing runs here. So, Sharma picks up his first wickets. Yeah. Uh, Bowder's very happy, yeah. Why not? You take the little things from this game some days. Okay. Greg Hollands came came in there straight off the mark first ball. Lots of quick singles out there if, if, if uh, Greg can do as he teaches. Another push for one from, from Howie. So three, three to go in this over. Score on 3-3-8. Three, three, Hollins goes big. Goes big, 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 big. And that's a car. <laughs> He's into the car park. I'm glad I parked. I didn't park where I normally park today. <laughs> Noah Smith has gone venturing into the car park to try and retrieve that. That's a super pickup from Hollands. Only the second ball he's faced. And uh, he may be, uh, may be a very expensive visit to Pembroke for somebody. So we'll just find out as that brings the score to 3 4 4. Any broken windows? Any, any dented roofs? Oh, so it hit the electrical unit in the end. It was looking like it was going to hit the Smith car. That would have been nice if it had to hit the Smith car. But all that matters is six more to the board. So one strike away from 350. So, yeah, I think, I think we're, we're now talking 360. I think we're past the 350 talk.
Noel is still holding on. He's holding on to this 340 or 400 tree. He's holding on to the 400s. Unless we see a few no balls here. Okay, coming around the wickets. The Hollands, short. Hollands is going big in. That's six more. That's six more into the wall. That is terrible fielding on the wall there from Prendergast. Gart Prendergast couldn't feel that there on the boundary wall. That's that that's awful. How many senior games between them and, and they didn't know how to feel that or catch it? So that's the three fifty. And yet he's coming around again. If he drops it anyway short again, coming around the wicket. It's a free hit here. Short, pulls. They're pushing two. They're pushing two. No, they leave it at one. It was a good pick up and throw. Just a single to deep mid on. And that is over. Another very expensive over. These last four overs have been hugely expensive. I'm sure when Niall is free from running around fixing cameras, he'll put up the the chart showing that jump in runs like there's a huge spike from the 300 mark to the 350 mark that all happened over a number of just a four or five overs so final over smart that they're taking off the helmet off the pitch just in case in the 50th over but anyway so Maruf the bowl, the 50th over on his 10th over. With 3 5 1 for 6. Holland's 14 off 4. Hoey, 26 off 11. Just 49 needed off the last over. 360, I would say. Are we going to treat? We're going. Oh. I'm old skill. I'm looking for the forward defensive here. Hollins down on one knee. That's going to drop just short. Oh, two gav. Uh, he doesn't come back for the second. Almost some good feeling there. If it just doesn't quite. He got to it, but couldn't quite hold on to it. Okay, what's wrong with a good forward block? Oh, he facing, oh, he left full toss. Full toss, six runs. Oh, you cannot bowl there to Howie in this form. In the good old days, that's what Norkel there would be doing, coming out in the second innings and going for the draw from the very first ball. 50 overs to go, boys, right? Block for the draw. Oh, how he tries to flick that to leg. There's nobody near the bat, there, but the bowler did brilliantly there to have the energy to rush out to mid wicket and keep that to one. Considering this is his 10th over and he's been fielding for 50 overs. That's some pretty good energy and awareness from him. Holland's facing. Looking for a scoop. Misses it completely. Gets his body in the way, though. It's going to be a leg by. There you go. 360. Flick to the leg and nobody's on the boundary there. That's the way they've been batting. That's terrible field setting. Four runs to Hoey. 
People are inside the ring on the lake side. So just the one ball to go. So 370 is possible. I wouldn't put a pass Gavin the way he's striking the ball. Oh, now Niall's getting pessimistic. He doesn't think he can get the 400 off one ball. Oh, he flicks big, big, big. Oh, it's dropped. It's dropped over the boundary for six. Now the fielder's trying to claim four. The fielder's saying four. The umpires have signaled six. No, they've gone back to four. There was a chance of a definite chance of a catch though. So that is a tough day at the office for the Norcal Air bowlers and fielders. 50 overs completed. Just the six wickets taken. 368 scored. 369 needed. So seven and over. I would hazard a guess it may be beyond them with the bowling attack and options that Pembroke have. Never say never, of course, but uh, we'll leave you for a little half hour break and then come back to you after. Hopefully Craig and Charlie have finished their lunch by then. And uh, we'll have a bit more com company in the commentary. Talk to you soon. Thank you.
Jones here. And we're back. So, Nick Stapleton from the unusual bowling from the nursery end. So far this season, he's he's preferred opening from the St. John's round end. Maybe the uh, wind has played a part in his decision. First delivery. Play and a miss. So, Norcal Air have the inevitable task of trying to hit 369 runs in 50 hours against a, a very strong bowling attack. Minus Joe Prendergast, obviously. No, I jest. This is a very strong bowling attack here today. Good options for the captain. He can go to seam and spin at any stage. He's got leg spin, off spin, in swingers, out swingers from his seamers. Loads of variations to go for. Peel straight away, probably a little high. Stable and bowling, right arm over to a left-hander with just the one, two, three, four slips. Why not though, you've got 360, even in a 50 over game, you've got 360 on the board. You've got a bowler who bowls as well, as Stapleton has so far this season. Of course, all his wickets coming at a cost of just seven, just over seven for wickets. Give him the ball and let him loose. And if he wants six slips, give him six. But anyway, at the moment, he's starting with four slips, gully points, deep fine leg, square leg, wide mid on, he's in the circle, save him one, and a mid off in the circle, save him one. No one in the covers, he's really trying to, he's, got, he's saying to the Norkel Air Batsman, have a go, swing outside off, and let's see if those slips can catch it. If you're good enough for four, then you're a good batsman. And then again, just again, just, Beautiful, back of a length, outside off. That's perfect bowling. Watchful opening from Norkel Air, as they need to be. They can't just throw everything at it in the first five overs. It would be silly to do so. But daunting task ahead. Uh, you don't know what's going through their heads or their team talk of what's, considering some of the results this season, sitting bottom of the table, are they had a win? Are they just looking to bat the 50 overs, get a respectable total, at least get a game of cricket in here, or are they going to try and chase 369? So we'll have answers on a postcard what the margin of victory is, because I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to be a little disparaging here, but I would, I would put my money on a Pembroke victory with this kind of total on a board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I don't quite, I won't quite put this in the of the quick single take. And well, good calling. So one off the first, and then we're going to have the extremely talented and experienced Joe Prendergast to come on from the St John's Road end. So we're open, opening with seam seam here. We don't know what the weather is going to hold now for the, the next hour or so. It's still breezy and windy. It's gusting every so often. Picks up and you don't know where he stands with the ball. So Prendergast is going to start with the moderate just two slips compared to Stapleton's four. An extra man in the covers. The skipper Lawson comes into the covers to try to cut out that shot. Just one on the boundary at deep fine leg. And, sorry, one at third man. Push Sharma is down there on the boundary, just in front of the dressing room. Hollands is standing up to um, Brendergast. Of course, he'd be a little bit slower, but he's not. A little slower than Stapleton, but still. Pretty good for Hollands to stand up. Shorts, 
Well, rocks back as well played. A little too short from Prendergast. Maroof rocked back onto the back foot really well there, pulled through the open spaces on the leg sides. The widest deep mid on for four. That's back on the right length there from Renegas. He'll be disappointed with that short delivery, but it is his first over. We're all allowed a little loosener. But especially with Holland standing up to the stumps, you'd want, you'd want to think he'd be bowling fairly full. Right. Back of the length. Good line. Tucks up the bats. So speaking of uh, earlier games going around um, during the mid-innings mid break, we noticed um, Phoenix had managed in a remarkable recovery, being 60 out for seven at one stage, 231 all outs in North County. Oliver, Oliver Hay to come in at number nine. Now granted, as I said earlier, he normally goes up higher in the order. For whatever reason, he went in number nine today. Maybe he was late to the ground or something. There's a lot of traffic around that area this weekend with flavours of Fingal. Maybe he got caught somehow, but he went in number nine anyway and got a ton. Dragged them up to, along with a 60 odd from Adam Chester to 231. So that changes that complexion. That's Phoenix in second place behind Pembroke in first place at the moment in the championship. North County were in fourth at the start of the day, Russian third. And uh, Russia, of course, playing Court County. Civil service having the day off. So, um, yeah, that's a remarkable recovery word from where they were. 15 for six, 60 odd from se for seven to 231 all out. That's not going to be an easy chase for North County, even though it is in the inch. So, Phoenix will be delighted with that, really. Cork County were 171 all outs today against Rush. Oh, quick single called, easily taken. Even with the final oh, direct hits. Down, they've managed to take two because of that. The ball squirted away. Tucker with the direct Dimmer Tucker with the direct hit, and unfortunately it squirted away, which allowed the second run to be taken. So yeah, Rusher, two off the first three deliveries chasing that 171 down in the Murdoch. Sorry, Terry Neuer are playing civil service. That's the final game of the championship today. Terry Neuer are still batting. Only 44 overs gone in that game on the last update. They could be having issues there. But they were 320, 324 for five. Sorry, it's just updated. All uh, finished 370 for seven off the 50. So another huge task for civil service to chase that, even on the magic carpet. So, if games go in the championship the way they are looking at the moment, Russia 56 for three now in the eight over then in the Murdoch. Like it's all just updated rather quickly. Something must have happened on the servers again. Um, you would you would look you would point to Pembroke win. It'll be well, like a close, depending on which batters are out in Cork. Terranure win. Um, and North County are 11 for two. So you could be looking at a Phoenix win. So it could be Pembroke Phoenix still top. With the league game between the two sides next weekend, which will be even more important.
So anyway, we'll back to the day before we talk about next week. Oh, that got the splice of the bat a little. The squirts out into the covers. It'll be an easy two. Such an attacking field. Stapleton still bowling to four slips, but that certainly wasn't played for. But the two runs gratefully received. So when did he over? Norgalera moved to nine. Maru five, Patel four. So I'm not going to be lonely anymore. I'm getting Eli Clark here to join me. Welcome, Eli. Thank you, Graeme. Uh, how are you today? Oh, I was very lonely. Nobody wanted to sit with me and talk with me. You know, violins in the background. Come on, we need the sound effects. But no, no, very welcome to have somebody here now for this second innings. What do you reckon the chances here of uh, Pembroke Wind? Do you think we might shade it? Well, it's hard to tell this early in the, in, early in the innings. What did you make of the Pembroke? First innings, I uh, saw Nick, Nick Stapleton. Great knock from him. I oh, know, super knock, well deserved. But um, he was well backed up, like William Todd's rapid fire, 40, 45, 46, r just at the right time. And then Gavin's bludgeoning, destructive knock at the end, bringing it up to that 3 6 8 mark. Um, yeah, I think, I think we're 200 runs more than Pembroke needs, at the, to be honest. There's, there's a lot of options in this bowling attack. Um, a lot of good options. You know, very experienced. There's like, the, the least experienced bowler right there, you'd, you, you would say, is Pooh Sharma, and he's had a couple of very good years with the ball. Yeah, he so, has. So, you know, there's... Yeah. I've, look, it's, it is... I, I think they can definitely defend 3-6-8. Just just have to be disciplined with the ball. Mm. Try not to give away yeah. too many extras. Yeah, which they generally are. They they like to pride themselves on that because they know there'll be tougher games ahead of them. They've got a big game next week against uh, the second in the table, Phoenix. Big cup semi final coming up, same weekend. Um, yeah, big weekend next weekend. Make or break a season in one weekend. Okay. Because only one team gets promoted, of course. Yeah. Well, ball from Nick Stapleton. He's been looked. He's looked lively with the ball so far. Yeah. 
I'd l I, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll apologise because Joe is close by. If you do pick him up, going well done, Stapo, etc. But he's enthusiastic. He is our youth policy. He is one of the you know the younger members out there. Come on, Nick. Come out, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice shot. That's a very good shot there. Well driven. I was there to be hit, and he did it. Put that. Yeah. Put that away very nicely. Mm, no, no, it's perfect batting, you know. Like that, you'd like to think that, you know, we're, they, they do have so oh, that's Gus has picked up big time there. No, look, Mark Laird don't want to be, they're not mugs, but you would just, whether to score at seven, eight every over, that's what you, especially, again, Stapleton's bowling with four slips. Who bowls with four slips in a 50 over game? Oh, and he just from. Very nicely ball. Just reminding the batsman, you know, you know, I have a short ball. You're not going to be driving everything. Changing things up. Yep. Go from full ball to shorter one. Good change up from Stapleton. And it was a good short ball. It wasn't too high. You made the batsman duck. It still wasn't given as a wide, though. That's what you want. You don't want one chest high comfortable mm. the batter to hit but you don't want one sailing over the batter's head and maybe even the keepers exactly bit of pad there but bad as well groans all around the slip area four slips definitely is interesting Try, trying to get the batsman to drive yeah, yeah. find the outside edge but mm -hmm. with a very big total on the score Pembroke have are able to do that because they'll they'll allow North Kildare get the odd four. They, they, they don't mind. You, you, they, they want them driving. That's why he's leaving it out. See, he's putting it outside that off somewhere. It was a bit too full. To, he just got, got to lean in on it. No chance of an edge. Oh, bit of, bit of, bit of mix up. Oh, they got the three. Well run. <laughs> Bit of evidence there mm. from the batters, well but they'll know. get two, three, three, sorry. Three, yeah. No, no, they'll have no issue with them. They want them to drive all day long. It's just a question of what length the bowler ends up bowling. You want it a little bit back of a length, a little bit, give the ball a chance to do something. You don't want the batsman to be able to get on top of the bounce and cover the ball. But, yeah, I think... From everything previous to this game and his form this year, I think Nick knows what he's doing with the ball. The oh. flow again. Uh, targeting that middle and leg stump. Batters don't get anything from it. Uh, decent day with seven from it. Uh, Pembroke will be intrigued with North Kildare driving. But that's what North Kildare need to do, get seven and over. It's a little bit more though. Yeah. It's a long way to drive back though, so... They need to be doing plenty of driving to get there. So Prendergast to continue from the St. John's Road ends. Average enough first over, finding it, trying to find his uh, control length. One that was a bit too short that was pulled for four. But uh, with well, Holland standing up to the stumps, he'll certainly be targeting that middle, middle and off area. There we go. And he's the extra man in the covers, obviously, with only two slips. So that's able to be cut off. So he'll be, he'll be trying to strangle the batsman. Joe, Joe's job will be control, strangle the batsman, and hopefully they'll make an error. Although Joe is in that 24 age mark, he knows what he's doing, he's very experienced. Is well, he 24 now? I think around that. Oh, God. That's how old I am since I played against him when he was your age. Jesus. <laughs> That's all right, though. You're a lot nicer. <laughs> yeah, it's weird having played against some of these players. Yeah. The, the, and then you're in the same club as them. Like Gavin Hoey. Um, well, Lorcan is not here. Joe. Well, balls. Josh. Just kept a little low there. Batsman just keeping it out. Yeah, it's funny having to get to get get to play against these great players when they were youths and watching them. 
and seeing the potential. Certainly intriguing. Bit on leg stump there. Pushed around nicely around the corner. Easy one. Up. Just drifting on his line. Put again. Well, Norkel there need to really do focus on is get get a good at least a boundary and over, but also just rotate the strike. Uh, ease the pressure off you. Put the pressure back on the other bats and let them get a four. Just keep that scoreboard ticking along nicely. Well, I think their only hope is for pushing for singles at this moment. It's a very disciplined line. Oh, it's high. That's high. That's high. It did look very high. Umpire thing signaling down yeah. leg. Joe uh, Prendergast. I think he's going high. Joe Prendergast looks in disbelief. That's but that that's that's his uh, his normal facial look. Big appeal though. Not out is the response. <laughs> We're not gonna get a replay. No. No replays today. Look, just be glad there's anything with this wind. But no, that's the perfect line. Keep and length. Just keep digging there. Now it's our first wide of the day. Unfortunately, drifted. Great take, though. That's showing the difference in class. I'm, I'm sorry, in the wicket givers today. Holland's behind those stumps. He's going to snap at all of those. Little dig into the onside. It'll be an easy one. I think that's all Norkin Lair can do. These two opening batsmen, I suppose, their job is get through as many hours as possible, really. If they can get to 10, like little targets, 10, 15 to 20. And then you're just hoping things go your way, a few little things, you get your eye in, a few little bad balls. Who knows, but that's why discipline from the Pembroke bowlers is important. Just keep plugging away on their line and their length. Agreed. Build as many overs that are maidens or one, two, three, four come from them. And that just jumps that run rate every time. It'll be Nick Stapleton. We've, 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 we've got a required run rate at the moment of 7.93. That could potentially throughout the game just go up, oh, up yes. and up, which yep. North Kildare will, will not like. No, especially at this stage, you, you you don't mind run rates like that when you've you've set batsmen and it's near the end of the game. You expect run rates like that, but not you know when you're in your first five six overs. Oh, swing and a miss. Good that's, balling from Stapleton. Yeah, that's the line. That's the land. Just keep those slip cauldron interested. Keep them hungry. Still have the four slips for oh. Stapleton in his fourth over. Yeah, he'll be bowling with four slips for most of the day. I would say he will bowl a six to seven over spell at least. He generally bowls long spells. And especially again going back to Pembroke's multiple options with the ball. They don't mind that. Short, played nicely. And that's well in. You don't risk a run there. It's one of one of the better fielders at points. Very lively from Joe. Always walking in. Always anticipating that the ball will come to you. That's what you need to have when you're a cricket player. When you're on the cricket pit, always assume the other guy's going to mess up. Always assume he's going to miss field. Ball pushed in, easy one, but again, not an issue. And Pembroke won't mind that that much. They're getting North Kildare to drive, and from that, they're only getting a single, but Maybe one time they'll push that one a little bit harder and that might mm -hmm. just go feather through. It was high. Okay, Joe doesn't think it was high. He, oh, Joe, Joe thinks he hit it, but he appealed anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well balled. To be, fair, to, be, to, be fair, to be fair to some of these players, the only thing they know about the spirit of cricket is whether it's a tequila, or a baby Guinness, or <laughs> after the game. <laughs> I love being sledged from the pitch. 
Let's get it on here, Joe. Let's get it on. This is this is good. This is going to be like Steve Smith in front of the Hollies in a second. This is going to get dangerous. Yes, but they'll see you cry on YouTube by the end of it, Joe. <laughs> Again, nice. Just push a single. That's that's no issue there for Pembroke. The batsmen are playing themselves in nicely. They're not throwing their wickets away, which is good. Not playing shots they can't play. Well, Trying to get set. Soon that might happen. North Kildare get frustrated. So, England at T. England Australia. Australia have set England 300. Oh, short ball again. That's really well balled. Right over the top of the stumps. That's okay. what you want. Finishes a good over from yeah. Nick Stapleton. So Australia have set England 371 to win. There are 279 all out. No line to bowl though in the second innings. So they'll have to go with an all-seam attack. England have been set 371 to win. They're at T. No, all, all out. Well, at one stage when Kawaja and Smith win, you're looking at... Oh, a lot more. more. No, no, but look, there's... N At the end of it, look, England have enough... If, if, they, if they play as England can play, they have enough overs to get those. The thing is, Australia are very smart and canny, and it ain't going to be easy. It's going to be a result. And it's going to be a good game of crickets. Just like here. Going back to the required one, again, just creeping up ever so slightly to 8.10. Yeah, that's, not, that's, that's a big jump. <laughs> In an over two, that's a big jump. And Joe, continue. That's a goal. That's well bowled, Joe. That's what you want. And great take again from Greg behind the stumps. I know it may look easy, but as a, as a wicket keeper, it is very hard to stand up. And especially if there's an edge or mm. if the batsman looks to play when you are yeah. looking to jump away from it. But he but he does it he does, like you say, make it look so easy because it's very clean how he does it. There's no fumbling, there's it's just taken. And if there is a chance of a stumping he has the ball straight to the bells. So that's Lent you don't want to see ball ball or Joe Ball. It's a little bit back. Down leg side easily pulled away for one. That's the ball the North Kildare need to capitalise and try find the boundary. Mm. Just missed out there, but there'll be plenty of bad balls throughout this game. Plenty, plenty of bad balls. Oh, you're not backing the Pembroke bowlers there. Well, plenty of bad balls. There'll be decent how many? Ones. How many bad balls? Couldn't tell you, but there will be some. In there to oh, of course. In them. 23. 23 bad balls. Then, we have to defi then we're going to have to count and, and define what's a bad ball. I'll go 21. <laughs> but the funny thing is, you can take a wicket on a bad ball. That, that is the case. A lot of the time you I see... I made a career out of it. <laughs> a lot of the time you see a bad ball, a full toss, a long hop, being smacked straight to a fielder being missed. Yeah. Out. A lot of times you see a great ball being smacked at the boundary for four just being blocked. Now, not that this game isn't a great game, but just there's a few other good games building around the grounds in the championship. Russia 84 off 12 overs. So the run rate, not an issue, but they have four wickets down in their chase of 172 against Cork at the Marduk. And an and, the, and the most important thing and worrying thing for Rush, though, is they've lost Maguire, Johnson and Rock already. Ooh, and gosh. usually that they rely on one of those three to get a, to, to get a good score, a big score for them. So one, seven, two, you and another 100 runs to get. Well, well 90, 90 odd runs to get. Um, it's it's not a given. Well, Rush, Rush, or Rush will be worried and Cork will be interested. Right. Just change of bowling. Straight away, we're Dad going. We're, yeah, inside the power play. It's a big Sorry. jump. Next table. Eight over's gone. Yeah, we're still in the power play. Straight yeah. to a bit of leg spin. Of course, Gavin again took uh, I think a fifer for the MCC during the week against the English universities. So he was in. He was in. He definitely took a few wickets anyway in both innings. Uh, so he had some runs as well. So he's in fine form this week. 
And again, the pressure of the keeper standing mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Not being able to lift your foot outside yeah. that wide line. Yeah. And again, last week in North County, a small ground, so a lot of pressure on a spinner. He, he bowled well. The spell in tandem with Fiacre, Tucker, certainly changed the match in Pembroke's favour. So, uh, yeah, a bit of zip here now. But it is smart captaincy because mm. you don't want Gavin Howie bowling from the other end because then if he bowls a bad one mm. on the leg side... Straight to the wall. Going straight to the wall. On this side, it's a bigger hit. Yeah. More and chance more chance of it being held up in the wind as well, the way the wind is gusting. Well bowled. Straight on to it. That's what you want from your spinner. No freebies. Especially with the leg spinner. It's very hard to find your line and length first ball. But Gavin Howie seems to do that all the time. He's a brilliant bowler. Bit bit bit, yeah, dug that into the ground, got away with it. I think it was still a good length. And with that ring around, that's one has to be a little bit watchful to the new bowler. Good start from Gavin Howey. Mm -hmm. Flick really to the well leg side. Faker Tucker gives chase. Should be two, just because with that arm. Yeah, just an easy two push out. Of course, it's a, it's a little bit of a change in Pembroke tactics as well. Normally, the first spinner brought on at this stage, if it's before the power play, is Paul Lawson with his off spin. They've decided to go with the leg spin today with Gavin. Interesting, though, from Theo, the captain. A lot of spin there, a lot of rip. Batsman got out to a well and covered it with just a little push into the gully, no run. Gav looking to build the revs on this ball straight away. The pressure is just going to be creeping up. Two slips mm. coming in now for Gavin Howey. Again, a lot of turn, a lot of rip on that. Yeah, it's a great position for a skipper to be in. We've that many runs to play with, and you and you trust your bowlers, and they're consistently bowling a decent line and length, and you're not worried about too many loose deliveries from them. It gives you that option just to, you know, back them. Give them, give them a feel setting you wouldn't see in every game. Slight delay of people crossing over. Yeah, non cricketers. Oh, that's well bowled. Give a bit of flight and a bit of zip. What do you want to see from your leg spinner early on? It's a very good over, only two Attack the stumps, attack the stumps, attack the stumps. Nothing, nothing outside off stump. Pembroke really building the pressure now. Mm. 26 yeah. off nine overs, run rate at 2.89. Will be Joe Prendergast to continue. Yeah. No harm bowling uh, your seamers from the St. John's Road end, like that with the wall. Given the given spin a go at the other end in well, the it's, nursery. It's what you want to protect when you're spinning. You want to protect one side. A mm, little too full there, just push back. Batsman a little angry. Probably because, as I said, it was a little full. It was easily could have been made into a little punch full toss straight back past the bowler. I think that's the difference. In the first innings, the Pembroke batters were turning those type of deliveries into boundaries. They were placing the ball between fielders. They were finding gaps to the boundary. Down leg side wide. Maybe another wide. Mm. There we go, one. Well, I count that last that's a, You wouldn't count that as a bad ball? I would count the, yeah, I would. I count the last oh, one. Definitely a wide. Would you count full tosses? Yeah. No, sometimes a low full toss can be good. Yeah, Miss it. Miss it. We'll come. We're only at one. We're on ball watch. Just acknowledge another yeah. great take from the and, and, and the judge's decision is final, and that's me. He said you're the judge. Me, because my decision is final. What if I want to be the judge? I'm afraid the judge decided now. Well bowled. Again, just hanging it outside off stump on a really good length. Two slips remain for Joe still. Obviously, Pembroke looking for that outside edge. Yeah, just keep it away from that leg stump and uh, they're in business. And again, they, they're inviting Norcolair to play some drives and some 
shots because again the two fielders on the boundary that they're allowed in this power play inside the ring they're both behind the bats one on the boundary at third man one on the boundary at final leg so they're saying have a go if you want on the stumps that's all the batter can do just mm. defend it Mark Bowling from Joe Prendergast. Unfortunately, down leg side. Two. Two. So, in the bottom of the table clash today in the Premier, Clontarf 106 for one, chasing 145 to win. This could push Railway further down that, that bottom because they were already sitting bottom. Clontarf for second bottom, so this is going to put a bit of distance between them. Of course, again, only one go down, one comes up this year. There's no playoffs. But it's second from bottom and second from top, as in previous years. play has finished and Pembroke are now allowed a couple more outside that ring field. Gavin Hill will continue. They haven't gone for it though. How are you can you full toss put away that's that's what they looking for. That's placement. Three. Uh, unfortunately just uh Gavin over egg that one turned it into full toss. The batsman did well there, not trying to over hit it. He did the right thing, just bat on ball and placement. Beat that ring of fielders in, in you know, so put it, pushed it nicely into the extra cover boundary. First boundary of the day for Norkel there. Very well balled. Great comeback from Gavin Howie. Yeah, that's, that's his line and lengths. Just keep on just plopping it on that. Eventually the batsman is going to nick one there to Greg. Two slits still for Gavin Howie. Good tactic that Pembroke are employing. There's a chance here, especially with that field. Some very, very good fielders in that offside who, who a lot of the time do hit the stumps on a throw. They really work hard on their training during midweek on that. Oh, big LBW share, and he's gone. Yep, he's gone. That was really full from Gavin. The batter looked to play it to leg side. Obviously, he picked the wrong line to do so. Yeah, Marie. Probably pretty adjacent to middle stump. Are we going to have a little replay here now? Here we go. Nope. No, no, we're a bit behind here. Good bounce. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, the batsman thinks he hit it. Oh. Don't know. I don't know if he did or not from that angle. It looks straight to be on the boots. Well, but it doesn't look. We'd have to we'd have to zoom and go slow on that. Well, that brings the new batter. Anyway, yeah, it's in the, as as the man says, it's in the book. Breakthrough. Here we go. We're gonna have one more look. Okay, we're not going to get it from that angle, but it is full. From that angle, you can't see it. No? Okay. Look slowly, 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 slowly. Whoa, I don't see bats. I can't. You I can think he played around it. You can see a puff of dust coming off the, off the grass. Like yeah. I think he looked to play it to leg and missed it. Well, but the only decision, or the only one that matters is the umpire, and he set out. Oh, straight on it. So the new batter, Great Zaman. I think he was one of the uh, opening bowlers as well. So uh, 
Very much an all-rounder. Well, Galvin Howard really has come back from that four off the first ball, which is never a good start to an A because it puts the pressure on the bowler. I'll be gone for one second. I am also going to take a little break. Jerry Prendergast will continue. Punched to mid off. Bit of a fumble, still a dot. This is Joe Prendergast, six at sixth over, so a decent spell. Twelve from it spell so far. Short on the leg and it gets whacked away to the boundary. Guess what it deserves? And I'll tell Graham that's four bad balls. Too short, just a bit too much on the leg from Joe and it gets hit away. He's back. So I think Eli's going to step away because the nets are calling for him as his brother bats away, working on. Like he's only scored 500 odd runs this season. You think he'd have enough and be bored, but now Eaton's batting away in the nets. Uh, there's never enough from. So Prendergast into his run up and then has to stop. So. Well, five overs, or he's in his sixth over. 17 runs off him. A little expensive, a little more than he'd like. That's driven out mid off, will be a top ball. So, yeah, my roof. What a one of the opening bowlers. So, I would suggest I know Pembroke have Nick Stapleton going in three and opening the bottom. The screams of a top heavy team. If your opening bowlers are also in your boat, opening bowlers are up in the top three batters, so that's going to be four. Neither fielder turned and went for that. The Lawson brothers left it for each other. <laughs> yours, yours, yours. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, it wouldn't matter who went for it at what stage. That was always going to be four. That was beautifully played through the covers. Lent into the shot nicely. So a little change in the field. Um, slip, second slip comes out for Prendergast. Just into a short little extra cover. Fieker took her. Little for a miss hit drive. He's there catching. And he certainly has good enough hands to take it. The chance arrives. There we go. Big hike across leg. Uh, we were wondering at what stage that might start had to happen, especially with the runway climbing. Four more runs, but that was agricultural, one way of putting it. But the outcome is the same as the beautiful cover drive, so that's the weird thing about this game. You can go from beauty to the beast, and they both count as the same. Let's go. Score moves to 45. Big shout, pitching outside leg for me. No, Joe's never, it ne will never agree. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you've just been hit for two fours. <laughs> it's 
not even worth a replay, we're that sure. So, Hoey to continue from the nursery end. Six for one from his pre first two overs. Zaman on strike, a bit too full, but just short square leg. We call it short, he's well, he's well in there, for your, or, or Dearmer Tucker. Definitely looking for a catcher off the, a flick off the pads. And then um, you can see. Oh, we we may you may have missed me there for a moment. I'm told the war fell out. It was brilliant, whatever you missed. Yeah, so uh, that's how that's how we knew that the the warriors had fallen out. No, I couldn't change camera. But Cicero would have been proud of my oration while you were while while you were I was gone. Yeah. We may go on highlights. Come to the awards night just for that. No recording anywhere. <laughs> it was like a tree falling in the woods and nobody was there to hear it. Wooden. So we do have that change of bowling. Pua Sharma is going to come on for Joe Prendergast here in the 14th over. So, seems to be the option here today, seen from the St. John's Road end, spin from the nursery end. Only one slip for Pui. Two men on the boundary behind the wickets, fine leg and third man. Everyone else in the ring. Two on the leg, four on the off. First ball, short. Rock back really well there from the Norcal Air batsman, pulled it away through the mid wickets for four. Not the best opening delivery. And again, we all get a loosener. So that brings Norcalair's score to 49 for one. That's a much better delivery. Fuller hung outside off, stumped nicely. Snaffled up by Greg back there. Such a tidy wicket keeper. So, so the target name for Norcalair, 320 runs in 220 deliveries.
Make that 219 delivery. So a run rate of 8.73. That's a tough run rate from this early in the game to be stuck with. Especially in the longer formats. Be average in a T20, but when you're for 50 over, that's a big ask this early. Full targeting that middle and off. Just play it into the leg side. No run. That's uh, hoiked and smashed over Sherman's head to deep mid on. Four runs. This is the type of shots that Norcalair will have to start playing and chasing. The question is how deep their lineup goes and how much risk they can take. Moves Maruf onto 36. Saman yet to get off the mark. Ball. That's got through. That was so full. It was Yorker Lentz, but the wicket keeper standing up, not easy. True for a bye. He doesn't have to pay a shot. One of the Pembroke players questioning the umpire was a shot played by the batter, but of course, he doesn't have to play a shot for a bye. Couple of boundaries from Sherman's first over, eight off it. Well, eight off the bowler, nine in the over. 54 for one. How we to continue? And again, why not? Six for one off three. Well bowled and well played, but only ever going to be a dot. Some good rip and dip on that one. Just probing really nicely to this left hander, of course. He'd be aiming for one just outside off and with the natural leg spin, just bringing it back in. Maybe going through the gate if uh, the batter in any way turns off. Oh, got an edge, but safety to Todd at point. No run. Some interesting run chase is going to build up over the course of the day. Marion, 53 without loss, going at, on around four and a half, five and over, chasing 252 in Claremont Road. Oh, that's dropped down. Yeah, that's going to be four runs. Oh, he just loses his line a little, drifts onto the legs, stomp, and that's sweep shot is jumped on by the Norkel Air batsman. Maruf is in good form. He brings him up to 40. Out of that total of 58, 
bit early to say one man band, but it's uh, very lopsided at the moment. Also out there, the hills are 42 without loss, chasing 285 in Rap Mines. Tough enough chase. That Rap Mines track has had a few demons in it this season. Back on it from Howie. It's very true to Holland's and a dot ball to finish the over. That was a good over. Just the one loose one. Clontarf had a little bit of a stutter at home in Castle Avenue. They're 1 3 1 for 4 with 30 overs to get 13 runs. They might get over the line. North County have moved to 54 for 3. John Mooney and Eddie Richardson at the crease together. Like that's happened once or twice over the last 20 years or so. Chasing 2 3 2 in the inch. Now, Rush have fallen to 110 for five at the Mardike. So they've 29 overs to get the 60 runs needed. So run rate, not an issue. It's the five, it's all about the five wickets there. Sharma back onto ball, little on leg side, just pushed around the corner for one. That's uh, Zaman finally off the strike after nine or eight dot balls. So one from nine. And in uh, the final kind of top two division games this today, after tearing your mate 370 for seven. So the highest score of the day anyway, just two ahead of Pembroke's total. Civil service are 20 without loss off after four. Well, that's squeezed through. That's going to be four boys. Yeah, squeak. nobody got anything on that. Very, very full. Yorker lens, but outside off, and uh, Holland standing up to the stumps couldn't stop that getting through for four boys. Driven beautifully through the covers. That's a really good shot there. That's four all the way. Full wide outside off. Lent into by Mar Maroof. And that moves him on to 44. Top, top batting off only 56 delivery. So after a slow start, he's moved up the gears a little. Now he will need company. He won't be able to do all the driving on his own. Need a wingman, but that is some good batting there from Maroof. Full again, on leg stump, a bit of bat in there. Yeah, off the bat, one. So, Sharma's just having a little trouble finding his line and length to the left hander. He's swaying a bit to either side of the stumps. So he, he's not sticking to one. But this is the batsman he'll want to bowl. That's a fairly new batsman here. He's only faced nine deliveries so far for one run. So this is who you want to be bowling to. And that's a good length. Drifting down leg. Just a dot ball. Ended the over. Uh, 16 overs gone. North Calais 68 for one. 
So 301 runs needed in, in 204 deliveries. Run rate of 8.81. Howie to continue. It's well balled against the left hander, Maroof. Just probing the inside that off stump, looking for that bit of turn back into the batter. Lovely go through the gate. Wants to bring in LB and bold. Fall. Oh, did I catch it? It went straight to slip. Did it catch something? Not much of a reaction from the bowler for one that caught an edge. If it did so. Oh, Tristan Lake plays the sweep. Pui Sharman lets one through him. Didn't quite, he ran around, got his body around to it, but unfortunately didn't get it quite down onto the ground enough. It squeezed on through for four. That brings Maroof to 49 and a, a score of 72. This is a fine knock because it's only taken him 60 deliveries to get this far. So if he does start to get somebody to bat along with him, Oh, Edge, that's going to be his 50. That's going to go, that's squeezed through with a bit of pace, with Gavin's pace on the ball. And that's gone through for four. That's a fine 50. Well deserved. Saw off the early overs from Stapleton and Prendergast. Played himself in. And that's 53 from 61 deliveries. It's very good from your opener. Emmerich will still be confident if they get this one wicket and uh, they could go through them, so. Oh, big shot, that's going to be six. Is it? Did it bounce just in front or six? It was a flat shot. Now it's been given us four. Bounce just in front of the line. Picked up well, though. Uh, Oh, he's just drifting onto middle, middle and leg, and uh, led the left hander just to swat that onto the leg side. Very flat hit. Again, he's drifted in leg, pulled her in the corner. They're targeting. Yeah, he stopped this time, so it's going to be an easy two. Turned into a very good over for Norco there. Three boundaries from it. Howie, oh, still good figures though from your leg spinner. Five overs, one for 24. The only breakthrough so far today. Maroof moved on to 59 from 63. Zaman still only one off 11, so. Norkler will need him to um, start picking up at least singles to keep the strike rotating. So he's fa he's going to face now to Sh Sharma. Ball pushing into the leg side. They're going to get two here. Picked up by Lawson. Little punch through the gap. So. Oh, he goes, tries to go up and over that. Oh, just enough on it. 
The fielders in the offside were well inside the ring. That ball barely got to the ring. Single. Brings Maruf back on strike.
Hitch. And that could be a huge win. A big margin of win, considering where they were earlier in the day. You wouldn't have, they wouldn't have dreamed of having this big a margin of victory. Looks like it'll be 100 plus runs for Phoenix. That'll do a lot for bonus points for them in second place. So it's an important Pembroke win this by as much as possible. Another full toss. That's out to deep square. Another four runs for Shaw. A few boundaries here have moved up to North Clear total, up to 110. I think Pembroke's main aim now, considering there's 250 needed in, in 30 overs, thereabouts. The thing they'll want most is uh, how much they win this game by. Squeaky bum time down in Cork as well. Uh, Russia 130 for eight. Still needing another 42 runs. Coffee time. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> oh, your star, thank you. Oh, lovely. Four more to the Norkler total. I very much appreciate a coffee brought to me by Craig. because it's surprisingly chilly here today. The sun is out. It's, it's not cold, cold, but it's, yeah, it's all wind chill factor. Yeah. It's just a very, very strange day of weather. Squeezed into the leg, so it'll be a dot ball. Put away, then to third man, just be a single. So, just tottering along. Pembroke wants in a breakthrough. Not trying to force it too much. Um, Norcal are not doing anything too special in a run chase. Every if They're starting to put away the bad balls, but they're not trying to turn any good balls into bad balls, which it'll be would be necessary if they were to in any way trouble that uh, total. Well bowled. Dug out nicely by the batter. Pulled. Not really there for that shot, but he managed to get some bat on it. And just squeezes it out to square leg uh, to 
Skipper Lawson fields it back, uh, dot ball. One feels they're trying to force a few shots that they're comfortable with, but some of these deliveries aren't there for that. That's better bowling. The only thing you'd be worried about, yeah, this is Sherman's sixth over, and he's gone well six and over, despite the wickets. Shouts. That's going to be close. It was very full. Very full. Missed by the batter, I would assume. I don't think there's any bat on it. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll have a look. Here we go. Oh, it was swinging. If there was a definite bit of swing there from Sharma. Yeah. It, if you reviewed that, it, it may be grazing a stump, it may not be. You'd lose a review on that one. Lawson to continue. Uden facing, just punched again, just a little nudge out to Todd. It's another dangerous shot. I know risks are going to have to be taken by Norco Lair, but a little bit too full for that height to leg. Got away with it, but no run. Full again. Trying to get under. He's trying to get under the ball, but just not managing to. Well, ball from Lawson. Again, good length. Just not letting the batter get under the ball at all. Trying to go aerial. Own leg. No, no, no run though. Missed the chance of latching onto that one. It was, it was pushed in a little by Lawson there. But missed. Yeah, play cut down. This is going to be four. Sharman's giving chase, but he's not going to catch that. It's just drib dribbles over the line. Dribbles, dribbles, dribbles over the line. Four runs. There was better cricket that last shot. It's well fielded by Senior. on that strings and I'll put you on mute yours for a second
So we are back. Okay, so here we are. We're going to have a change of bowling. We're after drinks. Um, still same from the St. John's Road end, but it's back to opening bowler Nick Stapleton to try and get a breakthrough here. Just to change it up. This is his normal end for bowling. One he's had a lot of success from this season. Straight away shorts, pulled away, but lands safely. Fielder right on the boundary and no chance of that. So an easy one to start off with. So I think um, the batters, especially Juden, has noticed the change in pace. He's asked for a helmet after drinks. Oh, straight on, big shout, too high. I think um, the bowler knew as he turned in the appeal. He started a big appeal, but as he turned to face the umbar, his appeal was dying. Yeah, but his, <laughs> that, shows you how, that shows how quick Nick Stapleton's brain works. In the turn, he had his review done. Fair delivery, pitching in line. Umpire's call. That's going to be wide, though. But um, this is only Stapleton's fifth hour, so with 25 gone and, and five more after this from Stapleton with his control. You don't fancy a rocketing run rate, which is what is needed from Norcal Air. I'm commentator's course here, straight into another wide. Very rare. But he's, he's uh, bowling to uh, one slip this spell. To start the spell. Um, one deep fine leg, one deep third man, everyone else in the circle. Um, three on the leg, three on the off. Full squirts it away down to that third man position. Just for the sink. So yeah, three to come in the over. So the screen is saying run right move towards ten now and over. Oh, squirts it out. That's gonna go oh that's super fielding. Top top fielding there. Got an arm out. Looked like it might squeeze through for at least a single, maybe two with the fielder on the ground, but that reach dragged the ball in and dot ball. That's great commitment from the Pembroke fielders. Another just squirted it down to third man. Mark won't be too worried about things like that. Again, every over without a boundary. Makes all the difference to that run, right? Oh, short ball. You ducked under, got a little bit of bat as it went over his head. He, he felt safe in playing it. And it's, it's gone away for four. No, it's a bit of a change. No, no, it is not being given as four runs. 
has actually come off the helmet of Juden. So it's uh, four leg bites. So he didn't duck well enough. But he put a good header to the back post, four runs. Lawson got away with one there. Poor delivery, full pull to the leg side. But he's got a man now on the deep square boundary. He won a cow on a deep square. So he has a bit of protection. So any miss hit. Oh, squeeze down the leg side. They're looking to run two. No, they're not going to risk that arm. Excellent throw in straight away from Dermot Tucker. Such a fine fielder. A squeeze into the leg side. Yeah, no boundaries. So. It's a strange old uh, kind of part of the game. You wonder if Norcolera are just out here for batting practice or are they going to try and chase? Happy to just maybe bat the overs and see what they get, knowing they can't chase 370. Pembroke just looking for one or two breakthroughs to get to that tail to finish it quicker. Staples doesn't continue. Another one back of a length, just defend the back uh, into the covers for a dot ball. start there from Stapleton. We'll just go again. Oh, the wind picks up here again. And I was strong enough to push me back in the seat. As you can see on your screens, those trees in the background are certainly blowing. Short, that's going to be cut away. Should be stopped out, taken inside the boundary and just the single. It's good fielding again.
Big shout. Big shout. Not out is the decision of the umpire. Here we go with a replay. Oh, that's another one that's out. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you can't be. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hitting halfway up the leg in front of middle enough. Straight through to Hollands. Here we go again with the replay. Yeah. No, they hit him in front of middle enough. Height might have been the only thing, but no. On the short ball, that's hit him in the helmet. Squeeze down, they'll get the leg boy from it though. So, drifting onto leg again from Lawson, unfortunately, and uh, put away by Shaft four Hello. runs. Uh, what's this for? Oh, listen. Mike's okay. Pulled across the line, it really looks as if he's not interested in any in the cover boundary today. He's looking to play everything onto his leg, off his legs, little tickles or pulls, drags down to the leg side. So Austin will just need to look at that. Fuller, push back, backed up nicely by mid off for dots. Let's field it again. Very nicely by Todd there and short extra cover. So as you can see, the run rate's past 10 and a half now. So I, I think it's a, a case of Merkel Air just a bit of batting practice. Don't give their wickets away and just... That's four. Lovely into the covers. Tossed up outside off. Leaned into. They'll need a lot more of them though. Yeah, come and say it's Chris Louis. What he's actually saying, commentator's curse. Still doesn't change. They look like they're just playing a batting practice here. They're not going for anything big. No risky, no major risky shots. No coming down the tracks or swinging for the fences. That was there to be played into the covers, and he played it into the covers. And again, he's outside off. Austin is upset with himself. That's a couple more boundaries than he would normally like off his bowling. So, end of the 29th over, North Lair. 148 for three. 
Um, I would. I. Yeah. Um, Stapleton is going to continue. I'd, I'd, I just think, or wonder when um, Fieger Tucker might get a ball here today. He need a five for last week for very few runs. Another maybe change of action needed just to mix things up. But it's the great thing for Theo as a skipper to have so many options. And so many good options. Okay, just a lazy little push out. So at the Mardike, Bush are creeping towards that total. Push into the onside for one. Easily field it. So uh, yeah, eight down, 13 hours to go, and uh, 26 needed. Or sorry, no, sorry, 16 needed. Two good balls. That's all Cork County wants. Cut away again. Just for one. You'd upset with himself. Don't know why. Not much more he could do with that. With his height, he wouldn't get on top of anything to cut it towards points. Wind picks up again. Really getting strong here now. Every few gusts. Short. Picked up a chance of a catch. No, just in front of Prendergast. A deep fine. He's just a little bit too back for that one. Dropped just in front. But fielded well and only the single off. Another short ball, chance taken. Great work by Hollands behind the stumps. Short ball worked. Uden could only get a bit of glove, I suspect, on that. Loomed a little. Very difficult chance for Holland. He had to get up. It wasn't exactly close to him. Used all his athleticism to run that down. Dive and take it just at the tip of his gloves and hold on to it. Great take and finally a breakthrough that Pembroke were looking for. Top work there. So that brings an end to the Shah Uden partnership. That was worth um, 65 runs. Easily the best partnership for them, uh, for Norco for the day so far. And that came off just over 10 overs. So uh, run rate wise as well, it's been. Uh, been the best period they've had today. A little bit of arguing from the Norcular skipper and square leg over whether that should be called one for the over. I don't think he understands what overhead high means. And that was just around shoulder, not above shoulder or head. Yeah. There was no issues with height. It was just ballooned off the shoulder, it wasn't above it. Straight on the mark to the new batter. He squeezes one pass point, gets a single. So the new batsman is Riz V. His reward for getting off the mark is to uh, keep the strike.
So we are going to have that change of bowling I was looking at. Fieger Tucker to come on. This is late last week when I was in the, doing the scorebook and uh, Paul seemed to be following my instructions nicely. Theo. So the former skipper comes on to bowl, fresh off a of Pfeiffer, looking for a few more. Straight on the mark, a bit of extra zip compared to Lawson's off spin, which is more about line and length. And drawing batsmen into false shots. So Pembroke now under complete cloud cover, no, nowhere for the sun to shine through. So it's dropping the temperature down with that those gusts of wind. A little bit short, chance of a catch though. Oh, didn't carry, run out, no. Oh, off the heel, they're gonna get the run. That's, <laughs> there's, there's one for uh, the awards night. Um, drops just in front of the uh, fielder at mid on, goes for the run out, misses the stumps, comes through, hits Sharma on the ankle and uh, squeezes out for a run. Straight on again from Tucker. Down the leg this time. Yep, cold wide. Oh, look to cut that. It was a bit too straight for that shot. Not much width to try to cut that down to third man and almost played it onto his stumps there. Again, and just a little play back there. That ball, that's a very good start from Tucker. Here we go, towards night action. Catch, 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 maybe, oh, right. Oh, run it, maybe, 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 oh, no. Backing up, intro, oh, off the ankle. Owie, owie, owie. And after all that, the bowler gets a single onto his figures. So Stapleton to bowl is eight over. Really he is unpleasant today. <laughs> the weather is turning more and more. It's getting darker because of that cloud cover. Squeezed out, but no run there. So, a little change in the field here from Stableton. Just moving a few players around, shuffling his deck. Oh, tried a little uh, cutter, I think, there. Didn't quite come off. Wide is called. So, 
bottom of the league clash in the Premier League. Uh, Clontarf with a six wicket victory over Railway Union in Castle Avenue. That'll push Railway further down the table. Short ball. Oh, what a take. Oh, that's brilliantly taken. Holland's again, the glove work top notch. The difference a great wicket keeper can make for a team. Short ball. Angle towards the head. Batter pulls around on it, catches a bit of glove, but taken beautifully down the leg side by Holland. So here we go with the replay. Yeah, short at the body. Even have a leg slip in for that. But brilliantly taken by Holland. Whoa, one hand and then the second to break, make sure it stays in. Great work. No chance Lorcan Tucker get backs in this team. <laughs> So, new batter comes to the crease. Avzal. Shab, the skipper, 25 off 40. Norco Learn now, 155 for five. As the darkness descends, gloom, it's Shakespearean in a way. Reminds me of my King Lear. Full, just outside off. Shoot to Hollands. Just looking for that Yorker first ball. So anyway, yeah. Um, Clantar feeding railway. That'll put some distance between them at the bottom of the, the Premier League. So Railway, it's been a few weeks now since they've managed to win, will be troubled by relegation. Oh, very good ball. And on, that is now one for the over, one short ball for the over. But a well-directed bouncer there from uh, Stapleton, right over the top of the stumps. So, there's been a slight change in the field. Fine leg has gone even finer. There's a leg slip in place, but the fine leg has come right around. It's, it's, it's not even in front of the clubhouse anymore. In front of the wall of the houses. It's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna be short balls, and a lot of them. Yep. There'll be, I suspect there'll be Yorker short ball, Yorker short ball, short ball Yorker. Short ball. Outside off, back of a length. But um, it's not often you see Pembroke employ this field setting. We ha There is third man, first slip, gully, very short extra, well, short extra cover. Point is in. Mid on is on the square. Square leg is in on the square. Played away, just a point, no run. It's the feeling that Pembroke are just going for the throat here. Feel as if they're bowling at the tail already. You get that sense. And of another very good over from Stapleton. Just a wide, one wide from it and a wicket. So back to Tucker. In the Mardike, Rush are 164 for nine, needing 172 to win with 8.1 overs. Oh, swing on a leg side, leg stump ball, no real appeal from Pembroke. So it's Alan Eastwood and Neary in for Rush. That's an exciting 
their Italian international, Stefan Di Bartolomeo. Jeez, my Italian's going to have to get better for next week. He's got three for 39. Little just non shot there on the legs side delivery. Just down to again, lot the skipper Tio Lawson is in the shortest leg side field, leg slip, not quite, but close enough. Tossed up outside, played into d deep square, it'll just be a single. Alan Eastwood saw out his two deliveries for a rush. Di Bartolomeo was bowled as 10 overs. What has Cork County got left? Just to try to get that one wicket. Eight runs for rush, one wicket for Cork County. That'll be a great match at the moment to watch. Mm. Phoenix, by the way, are, have North County 109 for nine, so they're going to win that game from an absolute unbelievable turnaround. North County will be kicking themselves all the way home tonight. Played right across the line there. That's ugly cricket. Nothing shots. And it's just a dot. And Marion have set themselves up nicely away in Claremont Road. Chasing 253. There are 143 without loss in the 30th over. So with all those wickets in hands, you'd you'd like to think Marion will chase that down. On there. And the hills need another 180. With seven wickets left. And 27 overs to get it. The civil service are making a fine push at it. Um, chasing the massive 371 in Terenure. They're 114 for one off 21 overs. So they're making a good good push at it. 114. So wickets in hand, overs to spare. And Terenure is a smallish ground. So I'm sure there'll be plenty of boundaries there. And Stapleton continue into his ninth over. Two for 25 so far. Again, with the field setting, you can expect a few short deliveries here to the North Lair skipper in this over. So, as expected, short ball to the skipper. I think he's been given his one for the over as well, so the new batter can at least be uh, untroubled at receiving one at his head. But I'd expect a few, instantly <laughs> took him to expect a few Yorkers to hear now. Staples in with his third ball of the over. Oh, cut. Oh. Squeezed out then to third man for a single. Just gets by the diving Todd in the gully region. Wide third slip. So back to Shaw. He's 27 off 45 deliveries. Yeah. 
Oh, that could be it. That's a chance. Running in. Yeah, Howie takes it. Howie was feeling probably 15 yards off the boundary. Uh, Shad could just chip that really into that mid deep mid wicket region. Howie watched that really well. Ran in. Took it comfortably enough in the end, but still a difficult chance because you're on the move. So the breakthrough. So as you can see, uh, it was just a little, it wasn't even a full body blow. It was just more of a chip than anything. Here's the wide angle look, yeah. Great camera work here from Niall to catch this. You can see him, oh yeah. On the move, well taken, well watched. So, the new batter, Nabi, who bowled a fine 10 over spell earlier. Well, sorry, fine 10 overs wasn't one spell uh, earlier for Norkel there. Very unlucky with some of his deliveries sneaking through the slip area, a couple through the wiki's gloves, out to face Stapleton in full flow. Oh, down the leg sides, off the pads. Squeezes through for a leg boy. So, the Norkel Air batter would like a new bat. He hasn't used that one much so far today, so I wonder why. Rush now need just seven. Still the one wicket. Civil Service have lost their second wickets. 121 for two, yep. Oh, that was nasty, wasn't it? Yeah, that was nasty. So, took her to bowl his third over. Big show, and he's out. Yeah. No, I think uh, he played the wrong line on that one. That's seven down now for Norkel Air. I think the new batsman Nabi may have just picked the wrong line. Yeah, here's the bouncer, right at the body, right at the head. That is well bowled. Jeez, you cut, that's nasty. And here we go with the LB again. Yeah, straight onto the pads. You suspect he just picked the wrong line. On top of the top of the on the ring, but he was far enough forward that that was going to dip. So seven down. It's the Norkel air. You feel the innings is going to peter out now. Two new batsmen at the crease. The tail very much in effect here. Sharma comes to the crease. Tucker now with one for three.
So another straight away, and he's gone straight away. Uh, he's on a hat trick. No, that's not the shot you played. <laughs> the, the batter can try and play a, a different shot after he's given out, but that is not the shot he played when he was hit with the ball. So North County have been bowled all out for 114, and R Rush have been bowled out for 165. Cork County win by six. Great result for Cork County. Here we go. Standing on leg, he just moves his, mid his front foot into front of middle and misses the ball with the bat. So, yeah. Not much of a stride. Halfway up his leg. Right in front of middle stump. I think an easy enough decision for the umpire there. So... It's a big, big result for Phoenix today in North County. A win of 117 runs, so that should be full points. To keep them in second place. And puts a bit of a gap now with Rush's loss in Cork. And obviously beating North County. Puts a bit of daylight between first and second and third and fourth. So uh, next week's... Oh, Hat-trick ball. You're going to have everyone in. Not fun for the batsman to face this. Face a couple of hat-trick balls in my life. They're never fun with you when you're surrounded. Got two slips. Sh short leg. Another one on the leg side. He doesn't look happy to be there. <laughs> He's moving back. Here we go. Hat-trick. Full. Oh, well played. That's brave from the batsman. <laughs> That's smash down for four. One, one would suspect if he kept mid on in place, that was straight down his throat. Uh, but, yeah, just smacks it back for four. Brave, brave shot. So, yeah, this uh, it's going to be in a big game now next week in the Phoenix Park. Pembroke taking on Phoenix at 12 o'clock next Saturday. The 8th of July, the day before Pembroke have to travel up to Warringstown, but it's a top of the table clash on the Saturday. I'm still looking for the ball. Here we go. Steps ahead of the way, swings on it, and to be fair, a mid on would have caught that easily. He didn't get much distance on that when it was in in the air. Okay, Tucker can continue. Two for seven in this third over. And just to be a slight sign off now for a few minutes. Apologies.
Okay, sorry about that loss of uh, commentary just at the end where everything happened. So, uh, great win for Pembroke. 200. 203 run win, so that'll be full points. So, that'll be Pembroke top of the table tonight. Phoenix sitting in behind, so really important game next week. Um, but I'd like to thank everyone who listened for today and put up with me. Hope you enjoyed the game and uh, we'll see you next home game. Take care and good night.